Hello, folks. Welcome to Nate Land. Glad to have you. Uh, as always, uh, this is uh, this is a, a a big week. So this this will tomorrow when this comes out Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, uh, uh, my new special, The Greatest Average American, on Netflix comes out uh, on March 18th. So this week, uh, uh, exciting uh, week. Pretty nervous about it, but we'll see. Are you going to watch it somewhere with people? Uh, I think I am here. No, I think no one can do it. Like, it's spring break. Yeah. (laughs) And so everybody's kind of gone as far as, like, having a big watch party. Uh, maybe that's what something. they told you when they're watching the Justice League. <laughs> the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna be out of town. Yeah, I heard about all of the Justice League. Brian Bachner, uh, yeah, uh, texted me and told me about like why they had to move it. It's all kind of sad. Like, yeah. Uh, There's he, a comment on here too about it. Okay, and then, uh, but uh, yeah, so it comes out this week. Uh, yeah, as always, you're always you're always nervous about them because you're like, I don't know, dude. Maybe it's terrible. You know? Uh, no, we. <laughs> I mean, Aaron and I saw the rough cut. Yeah, yeah, we thought it was great. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome, man. Yeah, and it's just, it's just never. You're just like ready for, you know. By the time you tape it, you know, we taped it in of October to now. It's just you always feel like this. You always feel, I don't know. Yeah. I, I was the Tennessee kid. I felt very, very good about, but I was in theaters. I was, you know, leading up to it was, uh, I knew it was going to be good. Stand ups did not feel good about. Oh, so the stand up season one. Well, that ended up doing great. It ended so. up doing great. Yep. But I'm just what I truly like. So, full time magic was. I think I remember feeling good, like feeling good about that one. That was the first one. I was just very excited about the first one. Uh, the stand ups, uh, the half hour season one. I was, I was like, oh, that was awful. It was like you know, just I, I was like, ah, oh, this is going to be brutal. I don't yeah. know what's going to happen. All that stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we did great. Tennessee kid, it felt good about. Felt you know it was like the lead up to it yeah. was, it's almost like when they when you like stand ups was a half hour so then you kind of feel nervous about that, and uh, and you know and then the Tennessee kid I felt I was like all right this one will be good I just it was destroying on the road, and then the greatest average American, uh, which is my favorite title of all the specials, but it's 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 the one that you're back to nervous I'm like back to nervous again you're like I don't know dude maybe it's terrible just because the setup the, I mean it was just such a weird thing it's to, the weirdest run up to it the right? weirdest run Drive up to throughs it throughs and COVID and everything else yeah never really got to you know I mean I was on the road with it I knew I know the material does good but it's you know it's like would have you know could I got it better could I have done this you know all the things leading up to it but I, mean, I don't want to make excuses for it. But I, I, I don't. I hope I don't have to. You know, I would never. You know, I hope I'm not. Like, guys, always remember when you're watching it. Every every joke, think. Well, you know, it is a tough situation. <laughs> like, uh, I chose to. I wanted to put the special out. I don't know. It just makes me. I'm just nervous. Uh, but we'll see how it does. You know, I've done some interviews and some people that have watched it that they sent. They all said they like it. I mean, not that I don't. What are they gonna tell me? But. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're interviewing me. And they're like, <laughs> I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> like, yeah. But they can pick up on some stuff that I was like, I love this. And yeah. I was like, okay, great. Yeah. Because we have something kind of happen during it uh, that kind of runs through it just for taping outside. And I left and we left it in. And I thought, oh, I think it could be funny. Like, it shows, it's, I think it is funny and it shows the realness of what we were doing. We we're doing mm-hmm. outside, yeah. outside taping. Right. So, uh, but yeah, here we go. Here we go. And I did, uh, yeah. And then got to get all new stuff, which is impossible. <laughs> um, <laughs> you always never, can, you never, as a comic, you never, you're like, how could I ever come up with anything else ever again? It's good to know you feel that way because I feel that way all the time. Yeah. I feel it every single spread. The Tennessee, I mean, then I think back like at the, for the Tennessee Kid special after that, I was like, how would I, or even up to the Tennessee Kid after stand ups, it's like, how am I going to come up with more stuff? And then the Tennessee kid, then you're like, okay. And you always feel like you're barely getting it in. Like you barely get it down in time. And uh, and then after that one, you're like, I don't know, dude. How could I ever talk for another hour? Yeah. And then you do this special. And then, yeah, we're right back at it where, you know, it was this weekend. I, or last week I was doing like 30. I was doing like 25, 30 minutes new. Uh, not all great. Some fun. Uh, trying to be more fun. Not that I'm not fun, but I want I love like 
fun, silly jokes. I got one yeah. silly joke. Uh, I haven't done much from the podcast. We talked about that. I need to do it. I, I feel a little weird. You just worry that the audience has seen it. But I need to try some of the stuff that we've kind of come up with the podcast just to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's coming out almost two years to the day of Tennessee Kid, isn't it? March 26th was uh, Tennessee Kid. Of 2019. Yep. Wow. And so March 18th. And that's 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 what that's the if if I can be lucky enough, I mean, who knows? Netflix could say no and never want to do another one ever again. Uh, that option's always on the table. Hmm. Uh, but I, my I, if I, in my head, what I want to do is every two years, and my sixth one with Netflix will be when I'm fifty, and then you know, then I yeah, not including stand ups and full time magic. So I've been like eight, and then ten, and then be done. no, I don't know. <laughs> I have no I have no goals past that. Yeah, but that's kind of the goal now. Uh. So we'll see. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's get into it. Oh, and your album is at number one. Is it still? We no. talked Brian's about been it. keeping an eye on it. Yeah, we, I'm, I'm very impressed with how well uh, it's going. We you. talked about it at the end of last week's. Yeah. And uh, is yesterday, I looked at it, it was it gone back up to number two. Wow. Hey, which is even it. more impressive. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. A lot of nice comments from people that listen to the podcast yeah. and yeah. stuff. So it's been fun. No more an album on iTunes. You say that in your bio now. Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Every yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should. That's you. Legitimately, you're number one in iTunes. I had when I was number two. Like or something. <laughs> I wrote that. Like in my, might still be in my bio. Uh, but it was. Uh, it, it did. It was like good. Like you always put something like that in. That's a good uh, little thing to have on there. You know, cool. it's like this guy had the number one album on iTunes. Yeah. You know, it's a good good credit. Cool, yeah. Man, so sure. yeah, put in the yeah. bio. Get you a couple more. Thanks to everybody who's checked it out. Yeah. Thank you. Uh thank you guys. You seem <laughs> sincere about it. Uh man, golly, dude. I don't know. I hope you drop now. Now you're gonna drop hard. You know. Yeah, thanks everybody. It seems yeah, it seems yeah, thanks right. for getting me up to number two, guys. Yeah. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, way to come through, guys. Number <laughs> two. <laughs> you should get mad at him. Yeah. Uh, I think I brought my best, <laughs> yeah. and I think you could guys could have brought your best. Yeah, I did my it. part, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Starting the comments. Cindy Craig. Oh man, Cindy Kreitzer Fraser. Kreitzer Fraser. Is that her real name? It's probably Cindy her, Kreitzer. Probably her Kreitzer? Maiden, maiden name and her married name. Fraser. She just wanted to stick with like the Z. She wanted a Z. You think she ever, when she married her husband, she goes, uh, would just, if you didn't have a Z in your name, yeah. out. You better have a Zer. <laughs> you better have a Zer. Yeah. If you don't have a Zer, then hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Wouldn't even go out. Uh, she met a lovely man. Uh, my name's John Smith. Oh, how you doing, John? Well, beat it, you loser. <laughs> I'm a Zer girl. Nate, you need to go out of town more often and come home tired. Today's podcast on the Old West was one of the best. You guys were hotter than a bowling pot of Donner parts. <laughs> bowling pot of Donner parts. Yeah. I was very tired last week, uh, and I felt it. So I'm glad that Cindy <laughs> liked it. She loved it. it. She loved favorites. it. Yeah. Well, she gets it. You yep. know, she's always got it. Yeah. Uh, Sisa, Sisa4747. Sounds like, I mean, the future when we're just numbers, like that's what we're going to be. Like they, they just, uh, they, they yell that and then they shoot you in the head. Uh, this is the worst episode you have ever done. <laughs> Basically what Cesar just did to me. Nate is completely not inter- interested in the Wild West. The fact that he has never even seen a John Wayne movie and doesn't appear to even know who he is is shocking. I know who he is. I don't know how I appeared... I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to give that appearance. (laughs) It goes. I wasn't. You know, I was like John Wayne was behind me. Yeah, you were the one arguing. He was maybe our biggest first celebrity. Yeah. Now there's a lot of people upset. You guys hadn't seen Tombstone or any western whatsoever. Yeah, Yeah, I don't know if westerns are my thing. I mean, I'm not the most biggest superhero uh, movie guy. I go watch the big ones, but it's not like I'm obsessed with it. Uh, I've seen Django Unchained. Does that count? Is yeah. that an airplane? Pencil. That was an airplane. If y'all y'all might have heard that. <laughs> yeah. That was uh man. Don't, they come over sometimes so say, low. Don't blame Brian for that one. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. an airplane. <laughs> yeah. Uh I was very tired last week, so I did feel that. So I apologize for that. I try I, I uh you know, it was 
I was like, uh, well, you know, I was, it's, it's, it's a, it's a long, it's, it's, which is no one's fault but mine, but it's a long couple weeks. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I do know John Wayne. I have not watched any Westerns. Uh, I enjoyed talking about the wild, wild West, but yeah, uh, it is, I mean, maybe it is the worst episode. You've seen the wild, wild West. That was the one you'd seen. Yeah. 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 I mean, was he not, you know, know <laughs> a classic is, Western. Yeah. John Wayne Gacy is, but who the uh, yeah. uh, John Wayne was wasn't a good guy. What do you think is that? Yeah. And I think it's John Wayne Gacy. Well, I would hope I, I'd hope so. All right, I hope I don't appear that I like him. And they're like, no, no, it's a, come here. They have to pull me over. Nate, come here for a second. I'm like, what's up? Uh, Matthew Gerber, bacon bits is taking whistle while you work to a whole new level. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of you know. I mean, I brought it up. I think at the beginning, I was trying to correct it. Maybe we could uh, bring it up privately next time. Uh, but uh, that's always an option. To no, there was this isn't live, so we could just uh, edit it out. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, I think Brian uh, has and wants to make a statement. <laughs> I think we got. Uh, so well, I'll introduce you to the statement. So uh, as you listened last week, you know that we had some issues uh, and. Uh, no one's uh, more embarrassed than the man I'm going to bring up now. <laughs> and uh, he just would like to make a, a, a statement. And uh, I think afterwards, I think he'd also appreciate you guys' privacy. Uh, please, uh, Brian, breakfast baits. Right. What camera am on, guys? No, no I'm joking. Uh, so, yeah, I chose a lighthearted one there just to get us in the topic. There was many that weren't so lighthearted. Yeah. Um, we're recording this on Sunday. We've already had like probably about 400 comments and emails and about 390 of them were about my nose. Yeah. Mostly. I woke up Wednesday morning and my, I mean, I was like still in bed checking my inbox and people were furious, furious. They're like, you've ruined my week. I spent $600 <laughs> on mechanic just to see if they could figure out what the problem was. Yeah. <laughs> Took my laptop to the Apple yeah. store. Yeah. So I thought it was overheating. You don't understand. He would ever do something like this. <laughs> A lot of people told me I ruined their week. So, I apologize to everyone. I'm sorry. There were some people. I will never question. A lot of times I've seen celebrities say, I got death threats for something. And I'm like, I don't know if you really did. I believe it now. You believe yeah. it. You didn't get death threats, but you got. I got some angry people. Close. Close. Yeah. 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 I got some angry people. Yeah. You would have got the, you know, the in your interview, you'd be like on 60 Minutes. But like, did you get death threats? You're like, <laughs> their next step was a death threat. It was I didn't get death threats, right. but the next step. That was the trajectory. That was, was it. Yeah, yeah right. they were leading. They actually might give a death threat to someone now because they've opened the door to go, well, I went after breakfast so hard. <laughs> yeah. With no death threat, I think I want to do a death threat. Yeah. And then they come out next. Yeah, I got some DMs that let me know a few things about my mom. So Death messages. <laughs> oh uh, death messages, DMs. Uh, yeah, death messages. Uh, I think all right. So I've taken a Claritin D today. Hey, yeah, I you sound it, great, man. I think that's what it was. We thought it was the wiring, but maybe it was just Claritin. Uh, <laughs> I this think episode's brought to you by Claritin. Tennessee yeah. allergies don't help. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a yeah. Uh, but again, uh, everyone, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. We're back. <laughs> I was tired. You know, we we're trying to give everybody a break from uh, <laughs> the podcast. Uh, yeah, that's funny. I mean, look, that's tough. You know, what are you going to do? We tried to, yeah. What do we got to do? We could edit it out. I just, the whole his, show? Your face is blurry. <laughs> and then we can't get the noise out, so we just blurry your face, and we just say, well, we didn't, Brian wasn't in this week. Someone else was there. And that's how we have to hide it. And they go, who is this blurry guy? Someone called me because Doc Holliday's girlfriend was Big Nose Kate. Yeah. Someone called me Big Nose Bates. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's pretty that's good. pretty good. Yeah. 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 I like that one. Uh, all right. Well, welcome back. Yeah. This is a whole new you. We love you, Brian. <laughs> Seth Buchanan. So my wife is nine months pregnant and I'm about to go on paternity leave. I thought paternity is a weird word. I always thought paternity. Is it not? Phils? Sure. Because then it's maternity is where right. you have the baby. Right. I never no, thought about that. That's the mom and paternity yeah. the dad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go on paternity leave. So the dad says that? Yeah. yeah. Wait, so my wife is nine months pregnant and I'm about to go on paternity leave. So a dad would say that and he gets he gets paternity leave? Yeah. Like yeah. a mom gets maternity leave? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. How long does he get a leave? 
I remember when that law came to effect a few years ago. I don't remember. Yeah. It doesn't really affect me, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, you got your own issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need to go paternity leave yeah. for my nose. Uh, naternity. Brian's on <laughs> naternity leave. Uh, what's that? It's, it's a whistling nose. He'll be gone for So you thought paternity months. was when the woman was just pregnant? And I don't think I've ever thought afterwards. about it at all. I thought, I just don't think I've ever even questioned it. I didn't know that the husband gets to go on paternity leave. I didn't know he also gets to leave. You missed out when Harper was born. I mean, I was... I was always on paternity leave. My whole career has been a paternity <laughs> leave. Uh, all right. I thought, why not get a new game to play during the off time? So I saw Red Dead Redemption 2 on PS4. It was 30% off and bought it. Now that it's spoiled for me, spoiled for me, I guess it's back to NCAA 14. Thanks a lot, college boy. Did you skip your friendship class that day? Love the show. We'll mute Aaron's parts. From now on. Hey, that's fair. I apologize for spoiling it. However, depending on how you play the game, you'll get a different ending depending yeah. on your honor level. Oh, wow. So yeah. uh, you might not get the ending that I spoiled. Yeah, the main one, the main <laughs> ending. Uh, maybe we're going to get lucky and get one of the other random no one gets endings. Yeah. It's still the best game ever. So Can you be a uh, good guy? You can. It's a little harder, but you can. So yeah. you didn't have to kill those people. I was full to. on evil. Yeah. 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 Uh, Katie Denny, Nate, you often say you're, you were too dumb for college, but I actually think you're plenty smart. I think most people are smart enough to make it through college if they apply themselves. It does, however, require you to attend class, even if you don't want to learn how to keep score in bowling. Yeah. Attending class is gigantic. <laughs> yeah. That is it's a big part of it. one of the your, main things. Your biggest obstacle, it sounds like. That was one of the, that was the one of the harder things. It was, I was at, you know, the semester of Western Kentucky it's uh, straight up a hill, and so you're we our dorms are at the bottom, mm. and then you have to go to the walk to the top. Mm. I mean, that just and no one was going. Like you were like, <laughs> I'm not going to that. They're Did very you? easy to not <laughs> go to class. Mike McCannelly, I sit on an advisory board for the marketing department of at the university I graduated from. Though we are a state school with state funding, you'd be amazed at how much of our focus is just on how to bring in more money. We spend so little time focusing on the education and opportunities that we can provide students that I have become very disheartened in the educate in the idea of higher education. I even suggested that we stop requiring students to take classes such as oil painting, oh, I can't even say that word, <laughs> oil painting and racquetball to earn a marketing degree. But the reasons I was given for why these exist was purely because we can require them, which increases total tuition paid per student. And when you look at how much the cost of tuition has increased over the years, while the actual education a student gets has remained the same, something is definitely wrong, and it's a bummer. Wow. I love that. <laughs> look who's back. I mean, people got upset. I never really – people never get upset at the stuff I say, which did I, it was funny. Did I talk about the context of that video that we put out last week? I didn't talk about that, right? Oh, you talk about how some people were upset. People were upset, but it was very funny. To the video I posted uh, with Aaron about that was like it was the whole context of it. it. Looked like I was attacking students, and that and that did look like that. And I'm not attacking students, uh, but it's funny to be like, why can't you? I'm like, well, it, it took me out of context. The video did. I posted the video, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like which is very funny to be like. <laughs> you took it out of context. Yeah. I like you, like dude. The media is taking me out of context. You're, like, you're the me. You're you're media. <laughs> Your own people took you out of context. You're like, yeah, dude. They're not. They're not doing me any favors. I'm not doing myself any favors, and I can't trust myself. I'd like to make a statement against my own self that you need to watch the whole video. Yeah. <laughs> it was very extremely funny to do that. It made it look like I, I am not attacking students at all. Uh, I, I have I am confused on what an endowment is. These schools have these giant endowments. Harvard is forty billion dollars. Yeah, you could do you could make forty other Harvards for people that to go to <laughs> just around the country. You could be like let's. We think you need to know our education, so we're going to use this endowment. It should your endowment should always be close to zero. Like usually, like, we are using it to make right. Is that what endowment is? Uh, I don't know. I don't like know. a savings. I, I don't know how much an endowment is liquid. I think a lot of it is. Oh, uh, you solid. Know. Yeah, and then they. 
Yeah. <laughs> a gas. <laughs> yeah. That's, I, I talk like I was going to keep going, but that's pretty much all. That's right it. Now. You I know what an endowment is? I learned from the Wall Street episode that I, I'm not confident in any of my financial <laughs> knowledge. Yeah. I, re- I really don't know. So endowment, so they don't have the money. It's like saying some there's some kind of, yeah, right. Yeah, 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 I think so. Okay. Which makes sense. And you want it to be, yeah. I just, it's, they keep raising prices. Schools are getting stupid expensive, you know, and then they always are just raising money. Mm-hmm. These colleges are always, you know, we need to do a football stadium. Let's go raise some money. Like, how much can you ask of your alumni? Yeah. They went there and you're like, so I got to, that's the one thing I, you know, I guess I do enjoy of not going to college. No one calls me and asks me. I don't yeah. have to, I don't, do you have Notre Dame ask? They do. And I'm like, I haven't finished paying y'all yeah. for her. <laughs> yeah. The actual. Well, they thing. always ask. And if you become just mega rich, I mean, yeah. you're just like owed to your college. Well, that's how you get football tickets as an alumni, as an alumnus. You you donate a certain amount and then you qualify for tickets. So that's so the only get... way to go to the game. No, you can you can get tickets can... the regular way, but you qualify for a certain kind of. Yeah. Yeah, things. when everybody does that. I understand giving to the college, but I just don't understand. I, it seems these colleges have a lot of money, some of them. Yeah. And so I don't – why do you – that's crazy to keep asking yeah. the students. They're doing fine without my donation. Yeah. Be but it's right. like that's – you know, it's like it, it doesn't make sense to the – you got to keep asking. Like you keep going, can we have more money? And you're like, what are you doing, dude? Like give – go. I don't know. Yeah. Like it doesn't make – there's got to be uh, – these colleges have a lot of money. Yeah. They're doing really well, I think. Uh, but, yeah, I also don't know at all. Just seems – Some of those classes defend them. Like that friendship class, which got us all started. Yeah. Once you master the basics, then you get to kind of expand your brain a little bit and start doing some stuff. Like right. It, it, we actually It's like was. a fun class. It was a philosophy, philosophy class. We got yeah. into the nitty gritty of some Aristotle all the way yeah. up through modern day. Yeah, Ted Lasso. Yeah. Ted Lasso. <laughs> from Aristotle to Ted Lasso. Should talk about it, Ted yeah. Lasso. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it's I just, get it. The name is funny. Yeah. Well, I think everybody would make fun of that name, right? Everybody's. Gonna, it was a running joke yeah. among the people in the class. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, someone that's an outsider hears that. We do think. You know, uh-huh. because that's what someone else said. They're like, you know, well, everybody takes roads, so no one, you know. But not, I'm not going to be allowed to go. I, don't, I can't, Notre Dame's not letting me go there. They're just not. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't have the grades. I'm not smart enough, and because I wasn't good at education, I wasn't good at taking tests. That wasn't my thing, and so, but so I don't get the option to go. Like I don't. Notre Dame's not like. Well, we also set aside some, you know, dummies. That want to go. That's what they should do. Some bus in some dummies. Yeah, they should bus in some dummies. They should. Every school should be. Like, we have a hundred scholarships that are just for losers that barely made it to high school, but we want to change their life, and we think that they should. They deserve a chance. Maybe yeah. they didn't do good in high school for whatever reason, but they get another chance. Wow. It's, right? It said I don't get that chance. Just have a hundred every school. We do a hundred scholarships. You're an idiot. That's the guy we're talking. You to. You should set up a uh, a fund like that. I'm an at idiot. Vanderbilt. At Vanderbilt. At Vanderbilt, an idiot. An endowment. Fun. Set it up. Remember when George Costanza was on that Susan Ross board? And yeah. He brought in the kid that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> solid C average. Yeah. Solid C not average. Good. Not getting ahead, not yeah. falling behind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not being braggy. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Just someone that's like, it's not like book smarts are not his thing. Right. Like it's not clicking, but, <laughs> but, they're, but they're smart in other ways. And you just get, man, mix those guys in. Go mix those guys and girls, just have them. Just, I mean, <laughs> just who are they? We'll go in there. Each room has uh, one student that smokes during the class, <laughs> and that's how you can tell <laughs> that goes. You just walk in a room, just <laughs> and you can't tell them no. Yeah, they're allowed to smoke. That's what I would allow if they want to smoke cigarettes, they can get to smoke cigarettes. Hmm. We're trying to help them out. <laughs> All right, we're solving things. <laughs> Collie Escher. As I was getting ready to leave for school, I started downloading the relevant podcast. Imagine my delight to see Nate as today's guest. I exclaimed to my husband, it's a spring break miracle. My two favorite podcasts collided today. It made me wonder if Nate could share on an upcoming podcast all the shows he's been interviewed on recently in promotion of the new special so all the folks can know where to catch more of his humor and antics that are so welcomed in these strange times. I can't wait for Thursday's Netflix release. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what have I... Uh, 
I don't know if I'm allowed to say some. You're know about one. I'll post them. Yeah. I think I'm. You just I'm did Ryan Rosillo again. Did Ryan Rosillo again? Busting with the boys. Busting with the boys. Did you do Bert Kreischer? I just did Bert's. Nice. Uh, we talk a lot about golf on Bert, so don't head over there if you're, you know, and that's me. I'll give you a heads up. Uh, 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 I, 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 man, I forget. I'll have to look and I have to, I cannot remember. But you got some more Everyone. coming up. I got more coming up. And so you'll know about some you're here about that I'm going to do. Uh, that, yeah. Yeah. I think I say I'm doing, well, I'm doing one. I'm doing Good Morning, Good Morning America. I believe on March 30th, 29th or 30th. That's cool. Oh, nice. And then, uh, yeah, doing Access Daily. It's like a Access Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. It's like, uh, I got that next week. I'm doing Barstool Sports again Wednesday. Uh, Aaron Land? Aaron Land. I'd love to come on. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm on in the background a lot. I'd love yeah. to be a focal point yeah. of Aaron Land. Send me a tape. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I, and I, 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 I can't think off the top of my head, but, uh, we have, I have a, a big one, uh, and I just don't know when it's going to come out. So you skipped, uh, the back of the first page. There was some more. Uh, oh, all right. Let me get, all right. So that was the last. All right, Robert, I am actually a descendant of one of the families that was in the Donner party. No way. The Breens. That's crazy. <laughs> Patrick Breen is my great, 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 great grandfather and his journal is the only surviving written account from a party member as it was happening. The Breens and the Reeds were the only families to not lose a family member during the ordeal. And our family has always proclaimed that the Breens did not resort to cannibalism. Dude, that's crazy. Dude. I know. That's, that's unbelievable. The descendant of one of the families that was in the Donner party, the Breens. Wow, yeah. wow dude. That's yeah. so wild. Yeah. Huh? Look at and look what look at it's all coming together. Yep. I mean, and our family. <laughs> that the, guy look, he looks like a guy who went through the Donner yeah. party. That guy has no That's joy left in his life. Yeah, Patrick Breen. Yeah. Just, Do you want to smile, Patrick? I mean, would you? <laughs> you know what I saw up there? Those animal Donners going on. I mean, just gets furious at him. Like, are you crazy? Hmm. No, I won't <laughs> smile. Say cheese. Yeah. No, I will not. No. I'd love some cheese. I am dead inside. <laughs> uh, you look over there, Don Donner sizing your camera guy up. <laughs> Are they? I like that dude. Their family, like, just constant. Like, how many times do they have to go? We did not resort to cannibalism. <laughs> just as a statement, as yeah, a family, yeah, yeah. you have to always just kind of say it. Like, you bring it up. Yeah. Just a lot of statements yeah. that you got to make. Look, yeah, we were there. No, but. we were there. The, our family did not resort to cannibalism. We held out, as we said, the Donners should have. And honestly, I think the Donners always wanted to do cannibalism, to be honest. If you ask me, I think they were rooting for it. They did it after, like, the first five hours. It was like, you were. I was, like, hungry for, like, a mid-snack, and they were like, what if we eat people? And you're like, whoa. That was quick. You're like, Johnny Donner. What was his name? I forgot yeah. Donner's first name. Uh, Jim. <laughs> Johnny Jim Wor Donner. J Johnny works. Yeah. <laughs> Jim. Johnny like D. Jim. Jim Donner. Jim. Not yet. We don't need it. That sounded like I was reading a comment, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, it that's it what did. I thought. I, <laughs> I was trying to keep the joke going. You know, uh, Ben Tucker. I'm distantly related to the Donner party on my mom's <laughs> side. My grandma's maiden name is Donner. I can confidently say that I haven't felt any cannibalistic urges. But every year at the Thanksgiving, someone makes a joke about what we're doing if we run out of turkey. Gets less and less funny every year. I mean, how do you not, you know? Yeah. That's tough. That's where the Donners left you is, I mean, man, two people related. That's crazy. I know. Uh, yeah, that's uh, distantly related to the Donner Party. Wow. That's pretty wild, dude. <laughs> I mean, that's how do you, yeah. What if you didn't, I mean, everybody hears, how do they tell you that? I don't know. I'm surprised I there were that we, many that survived to breed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. they got, they were the people that got out, but that's, uh, well, the Donner Party breeded. They crushed it up there on that mountain. <laughs> they were dominant. They, oh, that's right. I mean, the Donner Party was like, yeah, there's the most of them. Oh, you don't think they're eating their own family? Why would you do that if there's I mean, other families? Just out of respect for the other families. I don't think it's, you know, out of respect I, for the Breens. I think 
political correctness is all thrown out the window <laughs> once you start eating people. I think you don't, you know, yeah. it's pure survival up there. Like yeah. it's a, it's a war. Yeah. You don't I, go, that's not, that's not, you know what, as you, you know. That's uncouth. Yeah. Okay. Jill Donner doesn't go, Jim, I think we should honestly <laughs> yeah. eat someone in our family because it's looking <laughs> bad. And Jim's like, what do you, th- what do you think this is? We're eating people. They're there. eating people like elbows off the table. Okay. Yeah. Elbows, <laughs> yeah. Huh? How are we going to eat them? Yeah. And then you have to go. I mean, he might be serious. I was going to say, I think the Donners did not make it. The the main Donners, uh, their kids, I think, survived. Oh, okay. But No, oh, good for them. Yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah. They had to go. Yeah. Uh, imagine the jokes. If Ben Tucker's still hearing jokes, imagine the jokes <laughs> those kids heard. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, my, uh, Matt Oregon, my 10th grade English teacher taught us that on a, on a, mon, <laughs> on a what is it? On a monopia. On a monopia. On a monopia. Onomatopoeia is the second most rhythmical, rhythmical, <laughs> rhythm. What is that word? Golly, rhythmical, rhythmical. <laughs> Onomatopoeia is the second most rhythmical. <laughs> that felt like I was like trying to jump over and not fall in the water during that word. <laughs> rhythmical, just rhythmical. Like I just kept like trying to cross a creek Scared. and not get my feet wet. You got to kind of the last one's a little bit farther. I'm like, I'll get there. <laughs> rhythmical word in the english language when we asked her what the first most rhythmical word was she responded without missing a beat gonorrhea <laughs> oh yeah mm. uh rhythmical i don't think you know my family we've never taught said the word rhythm rhythmical just didn't you know just didn't come up day to day never came up yeah never you know i don't think it was bounced around uh maybe Maybe it was. Maybe my family can all say it. Uh, you know, they all went to uh, my mom or my dad and my brother went to college and my sister. Uh, and my brother in law teaches at a college. So adjunct professor. he's an adjunct professor. <laughs> he is. He's an adjunct professor at college. So uh, I guess you can tell who did it. <laughs> Me and my mom, Mana Acosta Robles, Robles, Manny, Mano. Manny, yeah. Manny Acosta, Robles, Robles, Acosta, Manny Acosta, Manny. How you doing, Manny? <laughs> uh, let's go with Manny. Yeah. Justice League was originally by Zack Snyder, but his daughter committed suicide during the filming, so he stepped down and, and Joss Whedon took over. Many felt the version Whedon made was horrible, rushed, many changes to the story and things taking out. Zack Snyder, who did his own cut of the film, did it for free, I believe, and finished the film this way. That's why it's being re-released. Makes ton more sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes sense. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny. I approve it. Manny and Bogner texted me that too. Yeah. Cocktail MD shave and haircut was used by POWs in Vietnam to make sure a new person on the other side of the wall was American. They tapped the first part, and only uh, they tapped the first part, and only Americans would know to tap two bits since it was since it wasn't well known to the Vietnamese. That's a tough one. Vietnamese. 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 Mm. I would, I mean, that's a word that sounds like it, it's, you know, I just can't say that word and I don't like to because it sounds like I'm saying it, like I'm being racist. <laughs> yeah. and, what are they, Vietnamese? And they're like, and I mean, people are like, like oh whoa, my God, dude. whoa. And I'm like, I can't, I don't know how to speak, dude. That Trust me, I promise you, that did not, I did not mean like that. Look, yeah. get Bartholomew over here. <laughs> See, you think I'm making fun of that guy? No, I just don't know how to say these yeah. words. <laughs> Rhythm of McCall. I mean, I'd just be shouting that as the family ran off. I promise. I can't say this stuff. <laughs> I don't. I always thought a modern version would be up, up, down, down, and they'd know left, right, left, right. That's, That's pretty good. That's fine. Yeah. That That's would fine. be a modern version. It'd be our version. Who He's talked about it at dinner parties. <laughs> You've never heard it. Yeah. Oh, the, the famous cheat yeah. code. Up, up, down, down, left, right. Yeah. yeah, you would not know. So we'd go up, up, down, down. And you would go, what, yeah. what would you think you would say? I'd say left, right, left, right now. Now you would. Right. Because of this episode. That's interesting that that's what they did during the wars, though. And then the others. Oh, you oh. messed it up. That wasn't yeah. good at all. Yeah. Sounds like it. They would have thought you were a Vietnamese. Oh, my gosh. There's <laughs> the Vietnamese guys out there. And they go, he can't say Sounds it. Sounds better. He can't. <laughs> You should get shot through the door. <laughs> Brian's not rhythmical at all, dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was awful. Yeah. 
<laughs> he gets, they don't even look, just right through the door. And they go out and they go, oh my gosh, you shot breakfast. <laughs> and then someone goes, I'll be honest with you, his nose whistling at night, it's not the end of the world. And then they, and truly, they would go, it, we're mad. It shouldn't have happened. We are sleeping terrific. No, <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. We're getting great. Since, <laughs> since that accident has happened, I felt unbelievable every morning. And the war changed that day. Uh, the Vietnamese would keep me alive as a torture. Yeah, for his POWs. John smart. McCain would just uh, crack. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to stop it. Yeah. No more nose whistle. We're going to, all we're going to do, we're going to bring a, one of yours in, Brian Bates, to do an interview with you. And they go, that's it? I thought you go waterboard me. They're like, no, that's it. Just Brian Bates is going to interview. You. And then <laughs> Brian put the nose sits in your down. Mind. Yeah, yeah. Put these headphones he goes, on. Wait. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Just whistling as he asks you. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Today... He just says he's doing all these things. And then the guy's like, What's up, man? Something in your nose? He's like, No, I don't. I think everything's fine. Uh, so, how long what, How long have you been spying on uh, my friends here? And they're, I mean, the guy's like, I don't know where. I mean, he just breaks. Yeah. Just stop it. I'll talk. Just, uh, okay. He'll talk. Oh, I can't whistle right now. There it is. <laughs> Chris Nunez. I think my favorite part, of, my favorite thing about the podcast is the way each episode starts with Nate being very excited and the most talkative of the group, constantly stepping on the words of Be uh, Beethoven and Notre Dame <laughs> and talking over them. But throughout the episode, Nate slowly loses interest and talks less and less <laughs> until that moment comes where he hasn't spoken for several minutes <laughs> and in inevitably says, all right, is that about it? We're almost done. <laughs> yeah. Love the show. Keep making us all laugh. I agree. And that feels like, and that, guess what? In the comments, that is it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Last week I was tired, but I, I do get, uh, you know, got to keep it compelling. And it's hard, you know. Uh, I can't do everything myself. So <laughs> <laughs> we, we got a guest uh, coming up this week. We are going to talk about the uh, lovely state of Alabama. There it is. Another state. Another state. With uh, our uh, very funny uh, uh, fellow Nashville comedian from Alabama, Dusty Slay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> My wife is from Alabama. Yeah. Okay. There we Not go. on the episode. And, She's Aaron's already, from, oh, and Aaron's from Alabama. So we had enough, and then my wife she said, "I would like to do it." I said, "I think, I think we've done enough. Uh, I think you've been on enough." No, my wife is. They went to. Uh, they're at uh, Universal, oh, in, yeah. Uh, Florida. Yeah, right now they that they sent me a picture. Mm. You have to wear a mask there the whole time, mm -hmm. and I think and Disney's like Universal to Disney. They, they are on it, dude. Oh, really? Like they're. I mean, that's their. Like you know, Disney's Disney's an unbelievable place it's yeah. really really have you been to disney no, world never been have y'all have you been i've been yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. great time as a kid yeah yeah i've been to vision land in birmingham yeah. you know vision land i don't know that's vision on here. Land. Yeah. i've oh, been to disney it? world more than birmingham I yeah think. yeah <laughs> i almost got attacked you by went pigeons. as a kid well you should go it's changed a lot <laughs> yeah. uh, there was no I epcot mean, center when yeah. i went was there not i remember when it opened like in 82 or something <laughs> <laughs> you read about it in the paper yeah uh the epcot center that's uh that's yeah uh i could have when did it, oh it started in 82 i think epcot center opened like early 80s yeah all right because i was gonna say did i did i don't know if i saw it too we went mm, i don't know i don't remember i've actually been a few times now just because i now traveling so much i'll end up being near it and so my daughter's actually and i have a joke about it but uh she's been a few times now sometimes it's just like a vacation it's like i really enjoy it it's a good vacation to go do i like doing stuff it's something to do and disney world does just run i mean they just it's done really good they do yeah. a really good job but i think that i have friends that have gone now and they'd say that they're on you about the mask like i mean that's their they just walk around i mean you just it's not like you could be like there's a lot of people i'm sure you're probably pulling it down walking around mm -hmm. trying to and someone no. pops up and is like hey put your mask on and yeah. then you have to do it mm. Uh, so seems I, like a good. Time. I, I went to Disney World as a pesticide salesman. I went with a bunch of pesticide salesmen. We were all we were all real fat, drinking a lot, <laughs> and uh, eating fried stuff. And I tried to feed some pigeons, and then they just kept coming. And uh, it was wild. That was that so was you were worth selling pesticide. In. 
Yeah, I used to be a pesticide salesman for a long time. That was, a, selling that, it to, that was a big, yeah. Uh, that would have been a big one to get. Disney World? Oh, yeah. Well, no, I wasn't selling pesticides oh. to, to uh, we were on, it was like a sales trip. Oh, uh, okay. They were like, let's reward all these adults yeah. by sending them to Disney <laughs> World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were like, pesticide <laughs> salesman. Yeah, they'll fit in. Yeah. Man, that would be a big contract to get. Yeah, though, imagine if you had come back with Disney World. Oh, yeah. 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 We got yeah. The, the, I mean, you'd own the company probably now. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to set up some weed killer displays. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'd be yeah. a lot of fun. The weed killer ride. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The in. weed killer yeah. ride would be, we call yeah. it Weed Stop. That was our product, I think. Weed Stop? Weed Stop. We had Bug Stop. We had, you know, we had a products. We, we, we were competition for Roundup, right? Yeah. But our stuff was called Weed and Grass Killer. Yeah. Right? Like, we were straight generic. How are they doing now? Uh, I don't know. I quit, but I think they're doing fine. <laughs> yeah. I think they're doing about as well as they always were. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. at a sales meeting, I had a boss go up and go, he goes, who's got it better than us? And then everybody <laughs> went, nobody. And I was like, I don't know that that's true. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't prepped on this. I didn't know this chant, but I, I'm pretty sure all of the competition has it better than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all are doing good to send y'all to Disney World. Yeah. That's a, that's a big trip. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was a good time. What uh, What were y'all talking about? Like when y'all have a sales meeting, y'all go to a sales, you're like, all right, this year we're going to do more weed stuff. It, yeah. Yeah, exactly like that. That's what we would get in a room and they would go, um, hey, this year we got a new uh, space for uh, a wasp and hornet killer on the shelf. And then everybody would applaud the whole. <laughs> yeah. And then Ooh. my last year there, I figured out, I kind of got the rhythm of the applause break. So I would start starting them. I'd be oh, like, oh, yeah. this seems like a good one. And then I'd kept a tally. Hundreds of applause breaks that you would oh, do. Man. You were straight up a comedian. That like already from that, just thinking that yeah. that's what you were thinking about while they were talking, having serious talk about weed stuff. <laughs> oh yeah. If they would have ever known that, they would have been like, Well, just quit now because we're you're because you're like, I'm gonna quit. Oh, yeah. I've just got to find the, you know. Oh, I knew I was quitting. Every sales meeting, I was like, this is going to be my last one. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, it was. But I, I landed, you know, on a, in a retail, they have, uh, each item has a SKU number, is what they call it, right? Yeah. And I landed uh, in, in Orlando, got on the shuttle. Another guy was there, and he goes, hey, what's your top five, five SKUs? And I was like, okay, dude, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. let's take it. I have no idea, first off, but yeah. don't get me in trouble. I would, if I, if I, <laughs> Yeah. I would be that guy probably though if I was into weed. Like if that if that was my thing, I would be way like, oh, we're getting a new yeah. And should I go tell your wife that? You know, a little sp you might as well space just go for hornets. All in, right? <laughs> yeah. Might as well yeah. go all in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting, you know, when you go from three facings to four. You're yeah. Like, this is going to be good for me. What is it? Three facings? Yeah. Like oh. you have like three cans. Yeah. You know, it's all mapped out. But when you get that fourth one, you're like, oh, this is going to be big. Yeah. My sales are going <laughs> to go through the roof here. Yeah. And what's a skew? A skew. It's like it'll be a number. S K U. It's a, uh, yeah. And so that uh, is that what they do? They well, that's the UPC. Yeah, right? yeah they don't yeah. have a, a skew number, and you just type that in the computer, and they go, "Do you have any more of these in stock?" And you go type it in, and you're like, "Oh yeah, yeah we do," but who knows where they're at? Yeah. So if you have one shirt in five different sizes for merch, you have five skews. Uh, yeah, that's just it's just like an yeah. individual. I did not know that thing. And then you're selling to like. Uh, like lawn and care places, Lowe's, Lowe's Home Lowe's, Depot. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes so there's a, a big deal to get into Lowe's and Home Depot. They're like Shark Tank when they get into like a big store. It's gigantic. Oh yeah, I yeah. mean it's a big time. But I was already in there, yeah. so mainly what I would do was go in, and all the other companies would have all the space. Yeah, and then I would try to get a little space, and then they would take it. You talk to Lowe's. I would talk to the Lowe's talk, manager. Yeah. I'd go, hey, I'd like to get a little, and then my company always wanted me to promise that I would come and fix it every week, but I knew I couldn't, you know, because I had too much to do. I had 32 stores. Yeah. I was hung over. So you got, <laughs> you have to go in and fix it. Like you got to correct, make sure it's all set up properly. Yeah. Oh yeah. I got to so go. So it's in. not like it's the, the stock people are doing that. You have to go do that. Oh yeah. They'll do it, but it'll be bad when they yeah. do. So they're like, go. So your constant job is to go to these stores and make sure. So when you see product at stores. That means like the salespeople, that's what they're having to go do. Yeah. Yeah. And there could be a whole war going on that we yeah. don't know about. I used to tear down the competition's displays and throw <laughs> their shelves really? in the trash can. Yeah. And we would have real fights and it was great. It was a lot <laughs> yeah. of fun. They Turf were, yeah. war. Yeah. 
I like if someone just turned into this, they're like, well, I guess they're interviewing a weed killer. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it sounds like. And our accents don't <laughs> not turn them off. They go, yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I used to find myself in bars a lot having conversations about lawns. Yeah, like that's what I, I can I can help you with that lawn. Idea. That's yeah. what I do. I'd be drinking I alone. Like I can yeah. get rid of this lawn yeah. fungus for you. Yeah, I know. Could, <laughs> yeah. could, could you, you still do it? <laughs> Probably in South Carolina. Tennessee yeah. has got different grass. Huh. Oh, oh wow. could you tell grass on a golf course? I, mean, I know you don't watch golf. Nah, but probably not like like that. Bermuda grass. Do you know that kind of stuff? <laughs> no, nah, we no. had St. Augustine and Centipede. That's yeah. the ones I could tell. Yeah. But I wasn't that good. I read a lot of the back of the bottles. Yeah. Like, eh, <laughs> now I know yeah. this, you know. Yeah. Mm. Like where some guys would, yeah, they know. In golf, it's very much people know the the grass. It's pretty crazy. I don't know the grass. But they'd be like, "What kind of fairways you got?" And they're like, "I don't know, Georgia yeah. or oh know. yeah." And there's and it's a different and but it's uh, like when I just played in Arizona, I want to see someone at Georgia and it was very nice. Oh yeah, and it was like the that's where you hit and the divots like it's this. Mm. I and I, I if I'm if I'm right and then uh, it's very thick divots. It's where you see on TV where the divot flies up. They call it a pancake. It looks like a pancake yeah. lands ahead. And it's like you just—I mean—you just cut into the grass. It's the greatest mm -hmm. feeling alive, is uh, just you know. And then they have Bermuda, I think, is tighter grass, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a little bit. The fairways are just tighter, tighter cut, I guess, and uh, maybe harder. I don't know. So this stuff only works on particular types of grass. Well, yeah, you know, it depends on, you know, you got, it, it's supposed to, I used to sell this one chemical that everybody's talking about. It's killing everybody all the time. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> the hard pusher of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would, uh, yeah. You know, but uh, I used to breathe it in. The stores would have to, uh, they would, a bottle would break and they were like, we need you to take this out of here. So I'd put it in the trunk of my car and <laughs> I'm driving around with it for weeks. I have no idea yeah. it even smells. My yeah. buddy gets in the car. He's like, what's that smell? I was like, I don't know. I don't even smell anything anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, go show some weed stops love, you know? Like, I like that you can, you see, you're throwing him a bone after oh, yeah. all these years. Thanks yeah. for getting Dusty to the point they, where he can do know, comedy full time. Weeds can't hide from spectricide. That's what yeah. they used to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Which is the truth. It is you true. Know? It is yeah. true. It is yeah. true. Uh, so, uh, Alabama, uh, I mean, we're, I feel like we're already in it. Right. Talking about it, you mm -hmm. know, I'm talking about weeds. <laughs> it's, it's, it's how I pictured the episode would go. <laughs> talking about specific types of grass in South Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good start to the Alabama. Is that, so you moved, you, st uh, where were you born? Al I was born in Alabama. Yeah. And I lived there till I was 21. Yeah. And then I moved to South Carolina. Yeah. But, for uh, comedy or anything or? No, I just was like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. And not that I don't like Alabama. It yeah. was mainly my town. And not that I don't like my town, but I was like, I got to get out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm about to go there next week and do comedy. So, what town was uh, it? I'm going to Auburn. I, I grew up in a town called Opelika, right okay. next to Auburn. Opelika. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a good time. We had yeah. a good time there. Were you, uh, uh, my, neighbor, my neighbor Felix went to Auburn. <laughs> they always joke, I'm joking. This. But he, were you, uh, were you an Auburn fan? Well, you know, I always like to say, you know, where I come from, you're either an Alabama fan or you went to college. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I say, but I didn't go to college, so roll tide, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, my, my dad's an Alabama fan. My mom's an Auburn fan. They're divorced. And they both take it very personal. Yeah. <laughs> like if I say I like Alabama around my mom, it's like it almost hurts her feelings. Yeah. yeah. So I've just kind of always towed the line. But yeah, I like Alabama. That's something I think people that aren't if you if you haven't spent a lot of time in Alabama, I think you might not understand how seriously people take it. We, we had Alabama Auburn Day. Do you have Alabama Auburn Day at school growing up? Did you ever have that? Oh, I don't no, you didn't know. have you didn't go to school with uniforms, did you? No, oh no. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. You no. said that like you I said wish. that like most people did. That's how you just asked that. I mean, talk about yeah. out of touch like right here. I know. Guy, I mean, good night. Whole family went to Notre Dame. Oh, wait, you guys didn't do uniform a bunch of losers. Not, that's right. What did you guys wear? Uh not, jumpsuits? Did you wear oh, uh man. I mean I technically had a uniform because I only had like five shirts, yeah. you know, but yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. heck of a start, Eric. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Let's reel it back a little bit. In in elementary school, though, I did have an Alabama shirt that I would wear, and then I had a maroon uh, sweatsuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the shirt was real big, so it would be like I would wear the sweatsuit and then the shirt over it. So there was, you know, there was no hope for me for style. <laughs> yeah. For a, you know. Did you? Uh, 
Uh, well, what were you gonna say about Alabama? You had y'all had Alabama Auburn. We used to have Alabama Auburn Day every every year yeah. at school, where you wore gear for either team. Yeah, and I remember one kid being like, "I don't like either team," and they're like, "We well, better pick one." Oh wow, because that's we're not we don't play this. Okay. Like, can I wear a Florida yeah. shirt? No, yeah, you can't. Yeah, wow. You know, I find Alabama such a long state. Northern Alabama, obviously, very much like Tennessee, because it's right on the border. Right. But you go down to like do shows in Mobile, which is on the co- Gulf Coast. Yeah, it's. Just a different type of person down there. Right. It's uh, taller. <laughs> yeah, a little bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah, it does change. The accent gets gets deeper the further you get down there. Yeah. 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 But all, Mobile is nice. Or is it? Or like if you get to the, the Gulf Shores, there's areas that are Gulf Shores, Alabama. There's some really like nice areas. Really down nice areas. Down there. Down yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's a place to be. And so you you grew up, I know you talk about your act. You grew up in a tra- 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 y'all lived in a trailer park? I, I yeah, when my parents divorced, my mom moved to a trailer park. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the full experience of Alabama. Oh yeah. My dad uh, lives on a farm. Yeah. My mom lived yeah. in a trailer I mean, park. You are, yeah. I mean you're what people think about. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like what they when they like Alabama, it's like, what do you grow up in Taylor Park? Dad on a farm. You're like, I don't know. All right, I'll stop you when you're wrong. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep yeah. Going. I mean, we yeah. were into NASCAR wrestling, you know, wrestling yeah. before it was, was we called at wrestling before yeah. it was fun and when it was like on local tv yeah and- yeah we used to go to columbus georgia and see yeah. rick flair and sting <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> was it uh do you ever remember seeing anybody early like big like stone cold ever you, would you ever remember that i don't, I don't think so no yeah because it was like those early if you ever watched well i read stone cold's book which is i think i don't know i probably talked about it. it's very <laughs> funny i read his, a that i read his book yeah. but his book is read it's how I should read a book, though. It's a lot of like, let me tell you something. And then I went over. I mean, there is rhythmical was not used once in that book. And I mean, I flew through it. I was like, what a quick read. Which is like, just very tiny words. Uh, but he started in uh, wrestling in the, the, those circuits. They would go to Memphis a lot. But like those kind of things where you would see those people come through. And, uh, you know, then they become, I mean, he becomes the most famous person alive, yeah. you know. Which is pretty the rock going through that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Pretty crazy. Uh I remember seeing that guy El Gigante. You remember that guy real tall? He was only around a little while. I don't know. <laughs> I just I, I love that guy. El, Gig- El, El Gigante. Gigante. Like the Spanish giant, giant? Uh, in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. The Spanish giant. Yeah. He wasn't wearing that uniform though, whatever that is back then. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't watch wrestling. Uh I would see it on TV. I remember watching it younger where they it was a big back then where you'd have the matches like, you know, Saturday Hulk Hogan would wrestle like a guy. You know, oh, like yeah, it, was, yeah. it was just that was you would get to see Hulk Hogan, like but Mike Smith. It's not a. Mm-hmm. They actually did it, I think, in a good way in the fact that you to see the big events, it was pay per view. Yeah. Like, and then the regular events, you would have. Then Monday Night Raw was like, all right, you see, there'd be a couple of matches that were like pretty big matches, but back, I remember someone. Uh, it was very funny. Someone would know a guy that was the, one of the regular guys. And they would always be like, oh, I know a wrestler. And you're like, oh, what's his name? They're like, uh, Brandon Bell? I don't know. I'm making that name up. Yeah. And you're like, oh, he's, like, he's one of the guys that, you know, just has like red trunks yeah. and yeah. loses. Oh, and you're like, oh. But that was like a guy to know. And mm-hmm. you're like, wow, that's pretty cool. He's yeah. on, you know. Yeah. It's like knowing a Washington senator. Like the, <laughs> was that the, the Harlem Globetrotter? Uh, Washington the generals. Generals. generals yeah. Yeah. Washington generals. Like if you're yeah. like, I know a guy that plays professional <laughs> basketball. <laughs> and you're like, oh, that's cool. Plays for the I would rather meet a guy from the Washington Generals. Than a Harlem Globetrotter? Don't you want to hear from a guy that their team has to lose every game? Yeah, how he keeps how he gets up every day. Yeah. Yeah, they, like how they, he stays they have positive. to let the Harlem Globetrotters are like, what are good. you gonna talk about? You're like, well, what I do is I throw it around my I, you know, throw it around my <laughs> a waist couple, 100 times. A couple years ago, the Harlem Globetrotters came to an open mic here in Nashville. Oh, really? Out of nowhere. At Third Coast. Were you there that night? Yeah. Did you perform in front of them? Yep. How'd it go? They just I mean, came to watch a show? They, they were in town for an event, right? Yeah. yeah. They, they bounced like, the ball off. Uh, they went to Third Coast okay. Comedy Club for the open mic and just showed up. Wow. And then when Brian went on, they threw a ball off his head. <laughs> and they, right off his forehead, and they caught it. And the crowd is a new form of heckling. Like, And he goes, all right, sir, there's no comeback to that. <laughs> you know, a bucket of confetti. Yeah. I heard they were they were like a great audience. Yeah. They yeah. were, yeah. How, how because they know what performance is about, and audience right. makes a difference. So, uh-huh. Yeah. So they were very supportive. Were they pretty easy to spot when they walked in? Yeah. I'm I mean, guessing they're, they're, they're all yeah, tall. Yeah, all of them. But, well, one, yeah. one guy played at Memphis, and I remember hearing about him. He played college in Memphis, and he could jump. I mean, he could, like, touch the top of a backboard. Yeah. And uh, I think those guys go there. Like, if you can't make pro, 
then you're like, if you get into that, it's not a bad gig. Mm -hmm. And that's the Harlem Go Trotters are just a wonderful, just perfect entertainment. Yeah. I think it's so fun. You get to take kids. It's you, you know, the people up front get they get they get involved. It's such a just awesome thing yeah. to go watch. Why not just have two teams though that actually compete? <laughs> That's what I wonder. Like, why do you, I think it would not get serious because then they couldn't do all the crazy stuff. Yeah, because yeah, it would so. be they would it'd be like two. Like, I think they have played each other. Look them and see if they've ever won. I almost think the Washington Generals have won a game, and then I think they've even played because the Washington Generals. It's not like they're bad. They're very good. What's well, on players. act? I mean, yeah, they're yeah, good it's, a, it's a show. Yeah. Well, if you were a kid, big Harlem Globetrotters <laughs> fan, and you went to the one where the Washington Generals won. Oh yeah, that would be like yeah. I mean, that'd be like being a kid that is a Washington Generals fan. Like yeah, the guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they say he shows up and he loves the Generals. Yeah. He's like, this is going to be the day. I used to have a joke about how all these teams say we need to get back to playing Chicago Cubs. You know, yeah. they're always whatever. But that's what the yeah. halftime speech Washington yeah. Generals. Yeah. <laughs> we, need I mean, get, we haven't won since 19. We need to get off playing like we play. We don't need to be the Washington Generals at all. Yeah, it's a fun uh, – home goals are great. Did they lose? Like, they lost in Martin, Tennessee. Yeah. Like, what wow. happened to that now? Oh, yeah. Cur Curly Neal did not play in the game. Oh. Uh, so, I wonder, are they trying to, like, somewhat – yeah. I, I mean, how would you – you'd much rather talk to a guy that plays on them to be like, what are y'all trying to do? Yeah. Do you just – are you like, yeah, we let them – when they're out there dribbling forever, we just let them do it. I mean, there's nothing called when you go, well, a guy touched the ball that was in the rafters, so I <laughs> yeah. guess we're not calling out of bounds this game. This they pull each other's trucks down. Yeah. yeah. Like, how is losing every day better than just having a regular job? Right? Like, I yeah. would be like, you know what? Maybe I will go back to selling pesticides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of getting my pants pulled down and losing like, 16000 Would you do times. comedy if you just bombed every set oh no i could never handle it i can bomb once or twice and be like that's pretty fun and then <laughs> yeah. after that i'm like I, I so who I'm would be someone that is like a washington general of uh comedy some of <laughs> that like tony uh i got a few yeah <laughs> no but uh that likes it uh uh what's his face uh, uh jim carrey played him in the movie uh Andy Kaufman. Yeah. But Andy Kaufman, and then who was his alter ego? Oh, uh, yeah. Tony uh, Clifton. Oh. Tony, Tony Clifton. Clifton. Yeah. Tony Clifton would be like a Washington. Like, he does not want to ever do good. He wants to. Uh, Neil Hamburger is like yeah. that. Yeah. Always. But Neil, but people like Neil Hamburger. So yeah. maybe it's even yeah. more like that. But they like the Washington Generals, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I bet it's a little bit like professional wrestling. I think the good guy lost more back in the day by accident because they didn't have it all refined. <laughs> But now yeah. it's much more scripted. But if the Washington Generals were like a wrestler bad guy, like they really yeah. like taunted them, yeah. and I feel yeah. like the good guy in this scenario is taunting the other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, like that's true. Bouncing the ball, pulling their trunks down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, sixteen thousand times. They're bullies. To yeah. three, it showed. I mean, it, there is just going to be three times. Did you already read this? Or why why they lost? What ended up happening? No, yeah. they just lost. They were just goofing around. They just lost track of the score. And all the while, the generals were actually trying. Oh, really? And then they just looked up, and they're like, oh, man, we've got two minutes left. We're down 12. And then they tried to come back, and they couldn't in time. And they legit tried yeah, to come back. They just caught them so sleeping, they, dude. I wonder if the generals are really playing hard then. No. I guess they, they were that game. Yeah. Maybe back in that too. But maybe they were missing yeah. missing their kind of crazy shots. It's, it's like six times out that was of 16,000. I think that one, yeah. right? They go, all right, let's really, let's give them a game. This they were popping champagne back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? We did it. I would, I think I would love it to be at a game where it'd be great as a comedian to say the only Harlem Globetrotters game I went to is they lost. God, yeah. yeah. That'd be, that would and be to have that story. Yeah. But if you, if you went to that game, you would tell like, this has never happened. So it's good. It's better than saying I went to watch them is mm -hmm. I went and saw them lose. Yeah. To be at that game, that'd be a ticket you could sell. You could sell that on eBay. Mm -hmm. Someone would buy that ticket over anything else, right? Yeah. So children if it, cried. If it's said on the ticket, they're going to lose. If it was just game. the date, and they go, "What's so special oh, about this date?" After the fact, if yeah. after the fact, and you go, "What's so okay. special about this date?" And you go, "If I would hang up a ticket to go, like they're like, you went to the Harlem Go Tartars in 1971." I'm like, actually, that's a ticket from the first game that Washington uh, Generals won. Yeah. People would be like, oh wow, wow, isn't that it's more of a collector's be, item? That would be really yeah. cool. Yeah. So, uh, all right, 
Harlem Globetrotters, weed killing. We're in it. <laughs> We're in it. Rammer jammer, running. baby. From Alabama to Harlem, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get there. Uh, so, Alabama, where, where, where are you from, Alabama? Uh, Montgomery. Montgomery. Which is like 30, 40 minutes from Opelika. Wow. Not too far. Did you guys hear about each other? Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's i've been to montgomery a few times though it's, the, a, uh, it's a lot of fun yeah, yeah. <laughs> capital of alabama montgomery yeah. is the capital of alabama yeah, yeah. it's also the, the first capital of the confederacy that's well, right kind of highfalutin aaron said he wished it still was but yeah <laughs> no. that's what he told me it's kind of highfalutin with you wore uniforms you know stuff like yeah, that yeah you guys you didn't have uniforms we did yes, we did was. not have uniforms did you guys you, i had some jinkos that i wore for a while you went yeah. all public school all public yeah. school yeah did you go to college I didn't go to college. Right. I, well, we have a similar college story, I think. I did community college for about two days. Yeah. And then I was like, I'm I'm not into this. I had yeah. one dude from my high school in yeah. the class, and I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing in here. There was no girls in my class. I'm like, this is not the college experience I was promised. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to work at Papa John's for a while. Yeah. <laughs> and they're almost like, they're like, no, it is the college experience you were promised <laughs> yeah. they look at your grades you're like actually this is exactly well, the one true. you've earned yeah. 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 yeah yeah that's true you deserve this yeah. one so but yeah. we used to always play uh opelika and sports as a kid so i was always out there elmore county and all tallacy and all those little oh, yeah. towns man so i've been out there i did football one year that was yeah oh wow yeah one year ninth grade why oh okay eighth grade middle school, middle school. yeah how to go? Well, I played one play, <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. So it was the ball. It was down Rudy, pretty quick. That was his Rudy yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my Rudy moment. But they hiked it, and then the play was over. And then I went back to the sidelines, <laughs> took my helmet off, and was like, "I'm glad that's over." Yeah. You know, I wanted to quit, but my mom. I came out with all my stuff one day after practice. My mom was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm quitting." She was like, "All right, go tell your coach." And I was like, "All right." And then I played the rest of the year. Yeah, I didn't want to tell my. I wanted to walk out, but. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just would practice. Were you practice. into sports? Uh, no. No. Still just, now? You know, I just wanted to be cheered for yeah. at the pep rally. Yeah. I, I thought, this is fun. I fun. like backyard yeah. football. I kind of dominate in the trailer park. I thought, this would be great. <laughs> yeah. But not the same. I had the same, uh, my football experience. I only played a very little bit. And I kind of quit. Like, I mean, I love sports and I play a ton of golf now. But I was like the same way with, uh, once the kids got bigger, and like we're taking it more serious and I wasn't, I was like, oh, I'm going to get hurt. Yeah. Like it's like when you go from 12 to 13, like 12 year old baseball was you're still pitching on that, on the mound. That's a smaller field, the little league field. Yeah. And those kids are close. Yeah. And then 12 year, 11 year olds are not throwing hard. 12 year olds, they start throwing the ball, dude. Mm -hmm. And you're so close to them that you're kind of like, it was, you're like, all right. Then I remember going to 13 year old league where the mound moves back. And then that was like my greatest. That was my home run off of walk that didn't count. <laughs> joke yeah. was a thirteen year old league, and uh, that was the best because the it was like they couldn't the kids weren't strong enough to throw it hard yet. Mm -hmm. So I and your and then your second base. I played second base, and you're far away from the ball. It was like I don't know. I was like just petrified of getting just hit in the face with this baseball. Uh -huh. And then fourteen year old was like, oh, kids are back to serious, and they're really throwing some yeah, heat. Yeah. And then I was like, then that's when I was kind of like, all right, I'm out. That's the age too, when like half the kids have hit puberty and the other half haven't. So there's like men playing with there's men kids. I remember yeah. this guy Jeremy Lyons that went to our school and he uh, was he played in college, could have played pro, one of the best athletes I've ever seen. But I remember playing baseball against him when I was 12 years old, just because we were all grew up in the same town. And it was it looked like at 12, it looked like your dad was in center field. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was just enormous. I mean, just to see, I mean, he had legs, just enormous legs. Uh -huh. And you're just you look out there and you're like, is he supposed to be out there? Yeah. Well, is that, he that's how football was for me. They wanted us to line up 10 years, 10 yards apart and then run at each other and hit. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't know why we're doing this. I think we would do better now because now they're very more sensitive to oh, okay. kids getting hurt hurt okay we yeah. came up in an era where it, the rules were off we had the same thing uh where they did bull in the ring bull in the ring it's illegal now in alabama that's illegal so yeah. i never had to do that growing up because they're always like that's that's the old times that's, yeah i had to do that's it where kids get hurt so i remember doing bull in the ring and played for old hickory bulldogs and uh, oh, we were the Bulldogs too, the Opelika Bulldogs. Oh yeah, yeah. And so, go dogs, you know, go dogs. And then, so they, uh, 
Uh, we they, you have a single stripe or a double stripe. This was like probably eleven years old. Uh, single stripe, double stripe. So if you weighed too much and you were a double stripe, you had to play the offensive line. Yeah. So the the big kids that were like on the line, they would make them run laps with trash can with trash bag trash yeah. cans with trash bags on them to lose weight because if they got under the weight, it's like cutting weight. They could play running back. They could play running back. I did, I did that every year. Yeah. For and the so weight. they. Because I was always right on the cusp, and so they'd make you leave. Because then, I, yeah. so then you, who should be on the line, <laughs> is now running with the ball, and because he, because he, because he lost just enough weight to yeah. do it. So like that's when you're like, well, that's not. So what happens with this? I mean, they they knew I was never going to be a bull, so this was never something I experienced. Well, so I so is- I bull in the ring. So you, the idea of it, you you stand in the middle, the teams around you in a circle, and you just make circles, and he just yells out numbers. Like 25, and if you're 25, you got to run, and you just boom, boom, you guys hit it. Oh. But you don't know where they're coming from. He's just yelling out people. So I remember doing it in uh, when I played when I was boy, and I was like, I don't like this at all. And what I would do is I'd always break my own helmet and then be like, I can't get this stupid <laughs> helmet. And I'd go off to the side and try to fix the helmet the whole time of playing bull in the ring because I did not – Oh, is that? That's not it. This is some sort of variation of it. Oh. The, the 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 kind everybody thinks of is the whole team circled up, and there's just one one guy in the middle, and he doesn't know where anybody's coming yeah. from. So somebody can come hit you right from the back, yeah. and you just yeah. got to kind of spin around so and just, watch it, it, the yeah, whole. The exact example that I gave you right before Aaron said it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the straight up exact. Well, well your uh, example was so good that he's, we still needed more. So I no tried one to, needed it. I tried I to reword you, it. I think you zoned out. You went into Aaron Land for a little bit, <laughs> and you had to read some ads for Aaron Land. They've started their own podcast. He looks slick. Right. It airs. Everybody. It airs during this podcast, <clears throat> and uh, so they. Yeah. So you. But I remember. I was like, I don't want to do this. At it was insane, and I was like yeah. tiny, and I'm like, and the and the coaches would want. First time I ever heard. I think someone curse was one of my football coaches. Yeah. And this is what I played for the Donaldson Warriors. I played two years. And then uh and they he would always call me Nat. <laughs> and so I picked it my number. I was so we played for the uh Donaldson Warriors. So we had their colors of the Washington Redskins or the was the Washington football team. Uh which I actually like the name of the Washington football team. I actually don't mind it. I actually really do you like it. To keep it Washington football. I team? actually think they should. I like the uniform. I like the numbers on the side of the helmets. And I, I actually like WFT, Washington football team. It just kind of feels very old. That's a very old franchise. And so it feels very old school to me that they do it. I, I, I don't know. Uh, do they have plans to replace it with something? Or are they just? Gonna- I honestly don't think they should. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, not trying to, to be politically correct about any of it. I, like, it's just, I'm saying I like that name better than even the, the Redskins. And uh, I, like that, I like that old school. I, look, I love it. I love right the there, uniform, dude. dude. It's I like love, a good Alabama uniform. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. 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 And it, Washington football team Bringing straight it right to the back point to the state it's, of Alabama. I was, uh, <laughs> I was trying to do a joke about it. But I feel like the joke's been done, but it's like that because it is ridiculous to be as a grown man. You're, you know, you're like, who are you guys going to go watch? The Ravens. <laughs> Yeah, We're going, yeah. The Ravens are playing the Redskins. Let's name the them Cowboys. all the football team. Yeah, it's Let's like they should all be the Tennessee the football team. Yeah. Tennessee, yeah. And then you're cheering for your state, you know. Uh, let's change the football. So <laughs> when I played for the Warriors, I, I wanted I was a big Art Monk fan. I, and they had Gary Clark. No, I'm sorry. I was a Gary Clark fan. And I think he was number 84. And so, or 82. 82 or 84. And uh, 84. Yeah. Yeah. And so I wanted, I was like, oh, so you got to go pick your jersey. And I was like, I'll be, Gary Clark's my favorite football player. Yeah. I go, I'll be Gary Clark. And I go, uh, number 81. And then uh, that's Art Monk. <laughs> Who's the wrong guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then I became a big Art Monk guy. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, all right, well, I'm on to Art Monk now. Yeah. And I remember having to think, I mean, you know, because as a kid, you think you can't look this stuff up. There's no internet. Yeah. It's only what I see. Right. On TV, so yeah. then I got I got confused, and I was like, I think he's eighty one, mm-hmm. and then I just had to become a big Art Monk guy. I had one interception against. Uh, All right, look at Yuna. that. That's a real career. Real career. One <laughs> interception, and they said the other kid's name because they thought what well, had to be. <laughs> we had one kid that was really uh, good, so they just said it was him that did the interception because they just assumed it. Yeah, because there's no way, and we played this school, Yuna. Uh, which is Smyrna, which uh, Sonny Gray, who gave me those bats, he played for you. Know, they were the best. They were yeah. they were the best team. I um, was I was number three, and my brother in law would wear his Dale Earnhardt hat when he would come to the games. <laughs> oh, that's how nice. he would support. That's how he would support me. Right? He's like, I normally I wouldn't wear this. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So your brother in law 
came to your kid high school games? <laughs> yeah. So how is your sister, how, is, how much older is she? Oh, you? she's like 10 years older than me. Oh. Yeah, right. we got different dads. We got a whole thing. We got, a, okay. we got quite the family tree going. Yeah, that was, yeah. I got you kind of said sister. it like, you know, like his uniform coming. Like you're like, oh, yeah. you, well, know, you know, guys, when you, you know your brother-in-law comes to your kid uh, <laughs> when you're a child <laughs> and your brother-in-law's at the game and you're like, what? You're like, well, I was lined up against my uncle. It's crazy. <laughs> so I'm lined up against my uncle and you're like, how old is your uncle? He's, he's my age. I got another and, sister that was born when I graduated high school. Wow. Yeah. So she, And she's not related to my other sisters. <laughs> so so she would be someone that could be, uh, uh, she, if you had a kid already, she would be an aunt. You had had a kid. Like in right, high school. Yeah, high school. I could have had a kid in high school. Yeah. Uh, she would be older than her aunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, I mean, this something. is. I should have did that straight up. Mm-hmm. And just for the is, just yeah, for the story. Yeah. I, you know, I got uh, and when I was at when I was played football, I got stabbed by a girl with a pencil in yeah. uh, in school. She stabbed me several times in the corner, and uh, she. I never saw her again. And uh, but I got to miss a day of football practice, and that was a of lot that. of fun. It was worth. it. I don't want people listening not to think we're trying to drum up some Alabama stories. <laughs> These are natural <laughs> conversations that are happening. <laughs> Two guys from Alabama. This just gets pulled out. This yep. is what's naturally happens. People think I make up stuff all the time. Yeah. I'm like, no, we. I was living in it. I mean, yeah, we were. Yeah. I mean, I had a great time. But Laura went to my wife. Went to. Uh, she went to a college, which I need to ask her more because I don't need to do a joke about it. But she went to her first college. She went to was in a mall, and it was like she was like taking. She just said she remembers just taking these classes and being like, you know, I'm learning about history next to you know, a nail salon, like penny <laughs> shoes or something. Like yeah. you're hearing people walk around shopping at a mall. Where's that at? Uh she was living in Huntsville. Oh, okay. And so in, yeah. in Huntsville. And uh so yeah, I, Alabama's I go down there all I have to go down there all the time now. I don't think I went a ton growing up, but I am there the most now. Uh because mm-hmm. we have a brother in law in uh Birmingham. Uh and so uh yeah we're they're all they're all down there. Yeah, I mean, Alabama's the best, you know. I used to do the whole swimming in creeks thing, and, you know, that's mm-hmm. why that's why I love country. Every country song, I'm like, I know what that's about. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I haven't had the experience, country takes me there. Yeah, yeah, you get that. You, yeah. You, you I, were never too far from that right, experience. Right, I'm like, I can, I can see that happen. Yeah, Tennessee's got, we're, I, I feel like Nashville's a little, not, you can go, there's, ten, you, you leave Nashville and you're in, same places as Alabama. Oh, it feels yeah. like maybe all of Alabama's like that kind of rural kind of feeling where Tennessee, Nashville, you know, I grew up in that Na- growing up here. But when I moved to Chicago, I was like, oh, we're we're a southern. Oh yeah. Like that's when you really you're like, oh no, mm-hmm. I'm I'm very southern. It's getting fancy around here though. I went to do a gig at a hotel downtown mm-hmm. Nashville and I had my hat on and the lady was like, uh, excuse me, we don't allow ball caps in here. I'm yeah. like, well, ball this is a trucker cap. hat. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know. This is, I, <laughs> I don't, don't know what you're talking about. I'm playing a lot of ball in <laughs> yeah. yeah. this hat. Yeah. yeah. In the Napa Auto parts and, hat. <laughs> yeah. And then you got into your uh, football story where you go, I missed a day of football once because yeah. a girl stabbed me. That's what you should, that's what your response should be. <laughs> I'll bring it in at any yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always trying to get it in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a story that needs to be, needs to be it told. It should be told. She, she gets suspended? I never saw her again. Yeah. I got one she, day of in-school suspension because I had pushed her head first. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're now we're getting to the bottom yeah. of this. Well, she stole something from me. And oh, I, now uh, we're getting even more. And then I pushed her head, and then she stabbed me, and then a couple other dudes. Uh. Uh, she didn't even go to the school. She got me. Yeah, she yeah. got me the worst though. I got pinned up in a corner. She was pretty large. She got a couple other guys who were just in the way. Uh, no, she, I think she had stabbed those earlier in the day. She they went did, on a spree, yeah. dude. If you, would have, <laughs> yeah. if you would have played bull in the ring, you might have been able to handle it, defend yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Where did you get stabbed at? And, um, oh, I got in the arm and twice in the back because yeah. I was because I was like ah, you yeah. know, I was pinned up. Bull in the rings when they're circled up. Yeah, yeah. Aaron, yeah. go ahead. Uh, <laughs> And then everybody's got a uniform on, but your uniform is attacking your own same uniform. <laughs> yes. Um, so you got, and that's when I mean, that's when lead poisoning was a was your biggest fear as a kid. Yeah, lead getting mm. stabbed with a pencil because of lead poisoning. Yeah. I was like, uh, it was it was like you felt like your cancer back. Then. You're just like every we're all going to die from lead poisoning. Really? I I thought. I just remember being talked about a lot. I don't know. Maybe it was me. And no, I, just, I remember too. They say if it breaks off under your skin, it's you're you like done. I'm yeah. from the graphite generation, so. Oh, y'all had a clicker. I had a lot of those, but even the number two pencils, they didn't use real lead in them uh, anymore. 
I mean, we weren't yeah. really worried about it. I don't think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I was just like, I wish about. that I didn't yeah. get stabbed. Well, today, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I think the power lines you lived under probably offset <laughs> yeah, each yeah. other. So yeah, it really pulls it out <laughs> of there. It pulls all the lead out. Yeah, it activates. It. Uh, could you fly as a kid? Because you live so close to those power lines, <laughs> Dusty. Let's go. How's is tra- growing up in trailer park? Is it just? Uh, I mean, it was normal. It was, it what, was yeah, great. I always say that the worst thing was like the address, you know, yeah. because I'm like, everybody's got a normal address and I'm like lot eight Morse trailer park that yeah. I have to write down so everybody knows. But living yeah. there was great, you know, except for any kind of storm. You're yeah. Like, it's not just tornadoes. It's like every storm you're like, mm-hmm. this could this could take this it. This is it. Did y'all get hit with anything? We got, we had an ice storm once. It froze a tree limb and it fell and stabbed through the roof. And then it collapsed the shelf of these ceramic owls that my mom had. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. So we had ceramic pieces all over the place. I mean, just, yeah, so you wouldn't be worried about lead poisoning with that kind of threat. <laughs> right, right. Every night you go yeah. to bed, it's going. Yeah, pencils are really the least <laughs> yeah, of our yeah, worries. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, is it, I think I would like a trailer park too. I, I like a community. Yeah. I think community is very, I like it. Yeah, my sister and her husband moved to the trailer next to us. Yeah. So we had two trailers uh, I love, right I love there. It. We had a little courtyard it. out there. Yeah, a little compound. Bunch of kids not really related to us. Like, you know, my brother-in-law's got a, you know, got two kids from a previous marriage and it was kids all over the place. Yeah. And How many know. How many trailers are in that park? How big? It was probably 15. Oh. And it was like a row of trailers and then a dirt road and then like the backyard of people's regular houses. Yeah. So their backyard was like looking at the trailer But park. few enough that you pretty much knew everybody in it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it was a good time. And then the bus would just come and pick y'all all up. Yeah. And did and the school just knew y'all were the trailer park bus? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, there was yeah. a, well, there was a couple of trailer parks. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I mean, we weren't the only ones. But actually, yeah. there was a lot of Asian kids in my trailer park, too. Oh. So it was kind of like we had like a pretty exotic. Like pretty like, diverse. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. What brought them to Alabama? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Now we have the Kia plant pretty close yeah, to yeah. where I live, so we got you know that. But uh, yeah, the yeah, Hyundai like, plant in Montgomery was okay. big when that opened. Yeah, up. yeah. I well, think they were Lay Ocean, and yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. we yeah. had a great time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we used to play football at the bus stop. We'd be all sweaty getting on the yeah. bus. Man, as a kid, you just don't just to think about how much you don't want to shower. Like they they just like even my daughter who they just wants to play, and they can go to school. They never feel gross. Yeah. You know, like I, I can take two showers a day. Like you just are like, I feel gross and yeah. I want to take a shower. Yeah. And they just, as a kid, you're, yeah, you go and you're like, you're going to, you're sweating all day. They don't care. You're not wearing deodorant yet. Not wearing you deodorant. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You don't, you know. Uh, the other day, or when we went sledding, when it snowed that week, my daughter, hair, she had ice in her hair. And so, because uh, it was just so cold, that's how cold it was. And uh, she wanted it out. She was like going to some our friend's house, and she maybe we had to come in and comb her hair. She was like, "My hair's a mess. It looks terrible." And she's like, "And it was like the first like kind of her acting like a teenager in a way. Oh, like it like yeah. broke my. I had to sit there and I had to comb it. She's like, "How does it look?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What does it matter?" I was like, "You don't, you know." But it was like her caring about that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh. "But she's still a little girl." Yeah. Uh, all right, what what let's let's learn let's All learn. Right, see how well you guys know Alabama. <laughs> All right, you guys know huh? the. Dude, that was funny the way you said that. Yeah, let's learn. Let's learn. <laughs> uh, you guys know the state bird of Alabama? I think it's the mockingbird. Oh, you were, oh, oh, the well, yellow well, hammer. I was gonna say rammer jammer yellow hammer, baby. The yellow hammer. They're, Alabama's the is. yellow hammer state. Yeah. Okay, wow. but I got it on the second try though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the rammer jammer? What is it? A yellow bird, or is the I, I think it's a yellow bird. Yeah, yeah, I know there's Yellow Hammer Brewing Company. They mm-hmm. have a nice beer. So that's in Alabama's fight song, right? Yeah, or not the fight song, but yeah. a chant that they do. Yeah, after the game, Rammer Jammer Yellow Hammer, give them heck, Alabama. Yeah, uh, Kay Ivey's <laughs> the governor it. of Alabama. She's the oldest governor in the U.S. Oh. right now, seventy six. All right, oh, good for her. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was named after the Alabama River. Which that was named after Indian tribe that lived in. So the Alabama state was named after Alabama River. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Opelika is a, a Native American term for Great Swamp. 
and nice. there is uh, no swamps there. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's, it's great. It's not great yeah, either. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's why it's great. Yeah, because you go, well, this isn't even like a swamp exactly. Yeah. yeah. Have you been to a real swamp? <laughs> it's a nightmare. Yeah, Lee County, Chambers County, where I grew up, is like the last area of the Creek Indians. Yeah. And my dad bought some land once, plowed it up. We found arrowheads everywhere. Oh, that's oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Nashville's well, a great desert. And you'd be like, well, we're not a desert. You're like, exactly. Yeah, it's the best kind. Got <laughs> yeah, a lot of trees. Yeah, 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 water. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, largest city is Birmingham. Oldest city is Mobile, founded in 1702. You know, Huntsville is going to be the biggest city soon. The trajectory of it. Yeah. Well, Hunts- that's the follow up yeah. show. Oh, sorry. You know, it's <laughs> Huntsville. That's Alabama part two. Yeah. yeah. No. The future of Alabama. Yeah. That's the follow-up. Oh, I want more questions, though. Do you got any other questions? All right. Yeah. Uh, what's the largest employer in Alabama? Oh. NASA. Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe so. We'll say that. Or maybe- uh, That's what I, we want it to be, but I don't think yeah. that's what it is. I'm guessing Walmart. I'll say NASA or beef jerky. Go ahead. <laughs> no, one of the two. <laughs> it's, only, it's only two options. Uh, let's yeah. say, uh, what about the Kia plant? I don't think that's in Alabama, though. Uh, it's, it's in Georgia. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Logging. Redstone Arsenal. Oh, oh that's in Huntsville. That's, yeah. that's, that's what that My is. My father-in-law. I don't know what that uh, is. Was there. And my, it's where all yeah. the military stuff is. Yeah, all it's the all the military. Stuff. It's uh, a big time military it's stuff. It's huge. And they, yeah. uh, it's in Huntsville. Yeah. And uh, I've golfed there. I don't know a lot about, I almost joined, I was almost in the army. I joined the army and then I got arrested yeah. and didn't make it in. But uh, you, you wouldn't have been doing stuff get, at this yeah. place. No, probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. But if, uh, so you, what'd you get arrested for? For alcohol and then yeah. weed. Alcohol yeah. first, and then they found weed. So and you was, do nothing now. Uh, now you're sober, right? Or yeah. you do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. You can't take all the Alabama. Out, you, know, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Take a little bit out. <laughs> yeah. The old old timers call it dry. That's yeah. what they call oh, it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you don't drink, dry. but yeah. But you may get into something else once in a while. Yeah. You know, what are you going to do? You know, what are you going to do? Well, I got to live a life, don't I? You, know? <laughs> you and I did a show once in Huntsville. I think it was at that hotel that was so terrible. Oh, yeah. But I feel like we got turned around and we pulled into this Redstone. It could have been NASA, but they stopped their signs. And you were like, oh, what do you think's going yeah. on in there? <laughs> that I mean, I mean oh, Dusty yeah. quickly turned oh, like, well, oh, man. I want to know what's going on everywhere. Yeah. I, everything I see, I'm like, well, what are they up to in there? Yeah. Uh-huh. You ever, what, what's the most normal place that you would want to get? Uh, is there a normal place that you'd be like, you could pull into Walmart? You're like, what's really happening back behind that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, in it, like even a comedy club, I'm like, what's going on in this room back here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is it locked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great. Which is every what locked door. What do they door? want us to yeah. see? What's that? What do they yeah. not want us to see in this locked door? Yeah. yeah. The Why? St. Louis Funny Bone had some weird life. I kept going through doorways and going down these long hallways. I mean, you would explore it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you, if the red zone are, you would, you, you would never be scared to know to know well like, if it's I'd military know. stuff i don't want to get locked up yeah. in some weird military <laughs> thing Prison, they're like yeah. what are you up to and then they search my youtube history and i'm yeah. like okay you <laughs> yeah. know what i'm doing <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well nasa there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on there with huntsville they uh yeah i mean so many people are are, are moving there that it's yeah. it's so many people not from there mm-hmm. i mean it's it's getting pretty crazy mm-hmm. and yeah that that would that, that Place could be huge. It's a good place to live, man. Yeah. Uh, first rocket that sent humans to the moon was at Nashville's, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville. Mm. Saturn V, was it? Uh, I think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Do you guys know what Alabama's greatest natural disaster is? Besides, I'd say, Aaron, I would, Aaron's last album. Uh, I would say the the tornado that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the tornado that in the last the, few years yeah, probably yeah. was pretty bad. The one that uh, they hit Beauregard. Uh, that hit oh, uh, University of Alabama. Oh yeah. Well, that's uh, better than this answer, really. Uh, I was, yeah. I was at the BP oil spill. You guys are giving like good real answers. Oh. It's this happened eighty million years ago. <laughs> oh, oh, sure it did. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 gotta, and we got to make them up. Then. Yeah. Well, yeah. it was a meteor that hit, meteorite that hit uh, yeah. Elmore County. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> called the Wetumpka. I probably, oh, Wetumpka. Wetumpka is a city. Yeah. Yeah. Wetumpka yeah. Crater. You guys ever heard of that? No. I didn't know. Uh, oh, okay. This town was named after that crater, after that <laughs> meteor. In Oak Just Gr- like Alabama River. Was. <laughs> 
<laughs> in Oak Grove, Alabama. You guys know Oak Grove? Mm-mm. Nah. 1954, Ann Hodges was hit by a meteorite while napping on her couch. She's the only person to confirm to have been hit by a meteorite. In the world? Yeah. She died? Wow. No, nope, she lived. <laughs> she woke, it woke her up. But, uh, so she, she got hit by a meteorite and lived. So yeah. She was badly bruised on one side of her body, but was able to walk. Did they find yeah. the meteor? Yeah. Then they got in a fight about it because her landlord said, that's my meteorite because <laughs> you're on my property. Yeah. And they got an argument about it, and she, they finally agreed to buy I it. I think there's a lot of property fighting in Alabama. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of like, it's my property. My property. There's property, a lot. Of, that's yeah. my favorite kind of fighting. My just, friend almost got cut up by his own uncle for parking in it, in his driveway. Mm. Oh, like really? They were neighbors. It was a... Yeah, was I'm in my neighbor's issue. driveway right now. Yeah. Maybe it could go right. He's from yeah. New Jersey, then. Uh, Can I ask a question to three uh, homeowners? How how deep down in the ground do you own? And how high up in the sky do you own when there, you own a piece of land? There is a such thing as um, mineral rights, where somebody can own underneath. Oh. Like, if they find something in there, somebody else can own it. Like, if you buy land... Because I just bought some land. If you buy land and if somebody has like inherited something, they can have mineral rights to your land. Oh, so they deep down. So if you like found oil, somebody could pop up and go, that's my oil. (laughs) Wow. And then they could take it. Yeah. And you think you're rich, but really now you're I just watched There Will Will Be Blood again. I think he talks about that. Like he owns, Mm. I think he says that he owns the mineral rights because the guys, well, we own this other land. He's like, Mm. because what he bought, he owns the mineral rights to all the other stuff. I don't know. Theoretically, you own it all the way to the center of the earth. Is that how it works? And then China gets the other end? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Where does that cut off? You know what I mean? Uh, I Yeah, I don't know. I would think you own it. I would just think if you own this land and a meteorite comes in, it's like, no, it's it's in my... It's in my air. Up. I own it's it like up a foul the... ball, and you just don't know yeah, who's exactly. going to get it, the right filter or the center filter. Exactly. And at one point, the center filter goes, I got it, and the right filter can come in yeah. and call him off because he goes, it's in my air. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and there may be, I think in Tennessee, it's illegal to capture rainwater because the government's like, well, we own the rain. That rain is ours. Are you serious? I think so. I don't know for sure. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds. Like yeah, it. that sounds. That sounds like you want to believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I do and want then, to. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want it to be true, but I do want to believe it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, she agreed to pay five hundred dollars for the rock because she they thought they could sell it for a lot more, but by the time it got through all this stuff, nobody wanted to buy it, so she gave it to the Alabama Museum of Natural History. It sounds like a, a thing from Joe Dirt. This is uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. And then so it's in the. Museum. Well, she gave it to. Her. I don't know where it is yeah. now, but that's where it went. But she's the only person to be hit by it. I just, I cannot picture it. Like, did it come through her house? Yeah. And like, how big was it? The size of a brick? Grapefruit size. Oh. I just don't believe fragment. that it comes through the house unless it's a trailer and doesn't kill her. Mm. Yeah, from the sky. Yeah. I mean, from the, I mean, galaxy. Like from, <laughs> yeah. it's not. You know, pretty far away. Pretty far away. But I think all it, down. I too. think uh, all down. Where do you know, think it came from, Dusty? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who knows? You know? <laughs> <laughs> if it goes through a roof, that'll slow it down a little bit. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to think like of how bullet. that would be possible. Yeah. The atmosphere didn't do enough, but yeah. as you got some siding done. <laughs> Talk to those roofers. The, that's good the work. Roofers, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to use that as a credit. <laughs> we slowed down yeah. a meteor. We slowed down a meteor. Kept Could have killed her. Alive. <laughs> and they go, that's it. Okay. What's well, the? I'll take some pricing on that then. Alabama, along with Oklahoma and Iowa, have the most EF five tornadoes of any state. Yeah. But Alabama yeah. has the most deaths. So mm. okay. Right. Most trailer parks. Yeah. Probably the reason. Right. Probably. Has so, to go yeah. get in that ditch. Probably so. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah. Y'all had to be prepared. Were you prepared yeah. more than most? Like you knew what to do? Well, we would just go to my grandmother's house, yeah. but it was like, her her house was really not much better than a trailer, yeah. but we would go there and be like, all right, we're safe now. Yeah. But it was like, yeah, I mean, we would, we were prepared. But you have that great joke about go lay down in a ditch. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what they always say. Yeah, you know, I've heard if that. The, if the tornado comes, you know, you live in a trailer park, they're like, go, go to a neighbor's house or go outside and lay down in a ditch. <laughs> yeah. That's their way of being like, uh, we don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, our neighbor 
lives in a trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to run to those houses that back up. Yeah. yeah. And then they know you're coming. <laughs> right. Once they hear a tornado warning, they're like, uh, it's like, you see, y'all come yeah. over the hill. It's like all the trailer park people <laughs> trying to come in. Just let us in your garage. And they're like, get back, get back. <laughs> Uh, the 1993 storm of the century, uh, Birmingham reported 13 inches of snow. All right. Wow. Oh, I, w- I remember that in 93. We had, a little, yeah. we had a little snow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember. Storm of the century. That's what they called it. Yeah. I remember I was on spring break in college and... <laughs> I mean, good night. His whole life ahead of him. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. Aaron, was it? What were you? I was two, uh, two years old. Two yeah. years old. Yeah. Probably one going on. Yeah. Yeah. Probably one going on, too. Yeah. yeah. Brian and spring break in college, <laughs> sleep by 9 30. <laughs> what time did you go to bed when you went to spring break? Uh, I mean, I didn't go on, I didn't go anywhere, but yeah. we were on spring break. Was this near the worried incident? <laughs> that was uh, high school, senior year of high school. So that was trip. your storm of the century. Was when that <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. What so? What was the storm of the century? Like it just. It was like it, went, a, it came out from the Gulf, and so it was like a storm in the tropical storm, but it dumped so much snow on uh, parts of Alabama and East Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Like the Smoky Mountains got. Feet of feet of snow. Yeah. Uh, Chattanooga got like three feet of snow. Yeah, I was 11 and we built a snowman. It was the best time of my <laughs> yeah. life. Yeah. It was yeah. the greatest you time. Got the, you got the good end of it. Yeah. Wow. It's like you, we saw it here in Nashville recently is these southern towns, they get flack for not like driving well in snow. It's not because of us. It's because we're just not prepared for this. Yeah, to but happen, they, and, and the reason, and they always go, you guys, you guys can't be like, why are y'all not prepared for this? And they always say that you're like, because it doesn't happen enough. It's not enough that we need to get prepared. You know what I mean? Like this year was so crazy that no one could drive. Nothing's getting plowed. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, but this was, it was a week. And then the next 10 years, we won't have this. So what are you going to do? Go bring everything in that just sits waiting for the one week that we had, you know, it's like, it's, it's better just to like, yeah, that week's kind of done. You just, you know, scratch that week. People get mad. Like we're not green Bay. Being like, why are you not prepared? Like, yeah. you're like, because we don't get it, dude. Yeah. Like, we don't, we don't get it enough. We get, we get ice and snow. I was, you know, it's these, but you were. So, would you have been? I've thought about this. The kids that always get out of school, you know, they. I might have talked about it that week, but uh, when there's a big snow week and there's always like, and you'd be like, the roads are fine, and they're always like, well, there's some kids that we can't get to in the buses. Yeah, would that have been where you're at. You weren't, uh, no, those no, were up they in the could. Woods. Uh, yeah, there was a road. They could have got to us. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the, we're, the, you were right off the highway. Yeah, we're so. we're okay uh, to not do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we had a dirt road, but it was uh, a highway there. They I mean, could we do. were. Yeah, because I, I always wonder where these people, where these kids live. There's always mm-hmm. kids that oh, yeah. they go. Well, we can't get to everybody. You're like who? Like I'm driving. Like you're like we're all driving. I mean, you're you're no, you have no snow mm-hmm. in the south. They're like, well, we can't get everywhere. You're like, is a guy on a mountain? Mm-hmm. Like one kid that we can't get to. Yeah. Right, and you could probably just do school without that kid. For, yeah. For, <laughs> yeah, for a day, or yeah. a couple, couple of days. I'm sure that kid. That kid fine. would love it. Yeah, high school does. here. My my dad had to make the call to do a snow day or not. Yeah. Uh, so that was always really stressful. I would always get hit up by everybody. Like you gotta yeah. talk the old man and the cancel it. My dad would wake up at like 4 a.m. and go out and drive every route possible to get to the school. Wow. And he'd be like, oh, it's fine. I like the but idea I'm, that your dad would be waiting for you to, your opinion. Yeah. Like I have any kind of input <laughs> at all. Like you should really, you know, he yeah, doesn't care it, at all. Yeah. Uh, That's many your times. Your friends would text you? Oh, dude, they were like, you got to. It's, it's unbelievable that you can have a phone. Like, that's, <laughs> that's so crazy <laughs> Wait, for me in to high think. School? In high school, like your friends would text you and say, and you're like, I mean, that's so, you know. Yeah. I, now, I didn't have a smartphone back then. I was using T9. So it was yeah. like the early, early stages. Yeah, yeah. It. No, it's not. It's just funny. It's just like, it's, it's, it's just times you have moments of feeling old where you're like, God, in high school, you were friends would text you. And that's so crazy. I know. Well, I know. How do you I think mean, I feel? I mean, good night. Right here, this guy, they sent an owl out. They sent a, a raven. A raven to see, uh, ask the raven back. how the roads are. Like in the, they, That's how they knew if they could go to yeah. school. Pa, we going to go to school? And then, um, Auburn's won five college football national championships. Alabama's won seven. 17. 17, yeah. 17? 18. 18. Now. Oh, yeah. Saban's 18. won 
six or seven. He's yeah. won seven now, I think, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah 17. Yeah, he's wow. one above Bear Bryant, I think, now. Now, there's a bunch that people that aren't Alabama fans claim that right. they don't actually have. Yeah. So if you ask, Alabama fans will give you a different number than, yeah. than everybody else. Because they – yeah, because – there's a reason for that. Why is that? Because they claim like it, they didn't have the national championship. Yeah. I think back then. Yeah, yeah for so like, many years it was just a free for all. Pe- yeah. Teams would be like, "We're the national champs," and like, mm. "Okay, you can you can say that." I mean, I but. dig it though. Alabama's like, "Nah, we we have quite a few. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pick that from next." My whole childhood, we had twelve, and everyone would be like, "You know, they only actually have eight. Yeah. Like, yeah, all right, you can say whatever you want. Yeah, got- still more than you. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, they've won more bowl games than any other team. Played more bowl games than any other school. Yeah. Yeah, the best. Bryant yeah, Denny. when you cheat, it's easy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Bryant Denny Stadium, 101,000 people, seventh largest college football stadium in America. Yeah. Talladega Super Speedway, 143,000, 13th largest stadium in the world. A hot track. What's the number one wow. largest? Uh, somewhere in like uh, South America, I think. Yeah, some like some soccer. soccer stadium. I've been to Talladega. Yeah, it's a good time. Uh, it's a good time. Did you watch NASCAR? Did y'all y'all loved it? Or? Yeah, the nineties we were into it. Yeah. My my family was into it. I mean, I was a kid. I liked I liked Kyle Petty because he drove the mellow yellow car. And yeah. I liked mellow yellow. Yeah. Alan Kowicki. Yeah. Alan Kowicki was my mom's favorite yeah. race car driver, yeah. and he drove the Hooters car. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was the only kid in the third grade with a teacher that said a Hooters on the front. <laughs> Bill more Elliott. More than a mouthful on the back. Yeah. I mean, Bill Elliott. Uh, we had to do an ep- we're doing an episode <laughs> of NASCAR. I would I would like it. Because uh Bill Elliott. Uh, his son uh, races now. Yeah, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, Elliott yeah. and, and is very good. Yeah. And uh, I don't know NASCAR all enough, but I, I do like NASCAR, and I've been to some races. Uh, I've been to Talladega and Daytona uh, with Burr, Bill Burr. Me and him went. And they, uh, it's Ch- Bill Elliott. The fun fact about him was he once lapped the entire field. That's how his car was going over 200 miles an hour. This is when they, they finally like slowed him down. Because they were going too fast, wow. and he lapped everybody. Wow, wow, that's unreal! Dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. to how do you ever get so far ahead that you lap the entire field? Yeah, they have a they had a name for for Bill Elliott. I forget, like a nickname, something. Not whispering, yeah. whispering. Bill Anderson. Yeah, is, uh, <laughs> yeah I went to a, I went yeah. to actually high school with his uh, son. Yeah, uh, yeah. Can you guess what country the biggest stadium in the world is in? Uh, did you, I think, did you I see know. it? I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know if I saw it or not, but yeah. I wouldn't. You know, know, I'm afraid to name something because you're gonna country's gonna be. I'm not <laughs> yeah, gonna name a country. A country. <laughs> I know. I'm just like, yeah. What I, I mean, uh, Texas. I, said, I, yeah. I, I think it's gonna be worse than that. I'm like uh, eh, Oklahoma City. Go ahead. North uh, Korea. North Korea. North Korea has a stadium uh, with well, 150,000 so people. So we don't. Yeah, we don't yeah. even really know if that's well, yeah. yeah, we they tell us that's what yeah. it is. But wow. Uh, Michigan Stadium, third. What do they do with that in the world? field in North Korea? According see, to this Wikipedia entry. I don't think you want to know what they do. With that. <laughs> Look at that. See, that doesn't yeah. even have Talladega on there. And uh, Wow, Beaver, uh, uh, Penn State, Ohio State, Texas A&M, yeah. Indian National Cricket Team. Uh, man, cricket is – I need to I – need I do not understand cricket at all. And I, I would like to. It either. I, I would like to because so many people – are watching it that I would like to mm-hmm. where you want to go like I want to know Is what you hit with a paddle yeah but they they throw it and it bounces and then they hit with a paddle into a field kind of like baseball is it <laughs> well I think baseball I think so. derived from it's cricket. a lot like yeah. baseball yeah yeah but I mean people like the guys are the best it's cricket so players big, dude. Yeah. it's so big I'd like to be able to just know what's going on yeah, I would like to know who's the best. Who's the like? That's what. Anytime I know a sport that I don't know, I want to go. Well, who's who's their LeBron right now? Yeah. Well, Michael my Jordan. well, that's where like with hockey, Wayne Gretzky. That's why it's so fascinating, Wayne Gretzky, how good he is. Because I know everybody talks about Wayne Gretzky, but hockey, especially here, is not the most talked about thing. But Wayne Gretzky is, I mean, more dominant than Jordan. I mean, he's the records he's broke. I mean, they're impossible to catch. He's the only one that they – LeBron's probably going to be the all-time scorer. He can probably beat it. No one thought that record could ever get broken to be the all-time scorer. It's so far ahead. And LeBron's got a real shot at it. Uh, I mean, no one's – Wayne Gretzky's uh, records are – I mean, it's not even – dude, no yeah, one can – have you looked – it's like two times. If he wouldn't have played or something, like he – or would have left – Taking like some years off. Years off, he would, he would be so far ahead. Yeah. We talked about it in the sports yeah. – Either you take, I can't remember if it was all of his assists you take away or all his goals, he would still be the leading scorer. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 
Crazy. So. And like people that have no idea what hockey is know Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. yeah. I yes. mean, that's me. I yeah. don't, I mean, growing up, I was like, I know Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no. Uh, He's on the Wheaties box. Just transcends the sport for sure. <laughs> yeah. Some athletes have come from Alabama. Hank Aaron. Hey. Oh, yeah. My namesake. Is, is it? I don't know. Yeah. Bobby and Davey like Allison. Oh, yeah. Charles Barkley. Yep. Bo yeah. Bo Jackson. Terrell Owens. Willie Mays. Uh, that's the boxer that just can't, the guy that's currently. The big, big heavyweight oh, fight. Oh, uh, yeah. Ty, uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah, uh, is it Fury or oh, oh, Joe Namath. He won. Joe Namath. I don't know if he's from Alabama. But played it Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Tyson Fury's who won, right? Yeah, he beat uh, Deontay, Deontay Wilder. Wilder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, Deontay Wilder's from uh, Tuscaloosa. Evander Tuscaloosa. Yeah. Philip Rivers. Who's Philip going? Rivers? It's from Alabama. That's cool. He's uh, now really? the head coach at St. Michael Catholic High School in Fairhope, Alabama. Oh, you're, yeah. that's the school you went to? No, that's my dad's. Is the my dad started the school? Yeah, and this year Philip Rivers is now the head football. Your dad coach is there. his boss right now. Yeah, technically. Yeah, technically, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna meet him. I'm doing a show there this weekend. I think he's gonna be All there. Right, It'll be cool. Time for me. that. All right, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you hoped me to meet him before the show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's right. that's, yeah, it's actually good advice. Yeah. yeah. Um. The uh, let's see here. The Auburn Opelika area was named by Golf Digest as the number one area for golf in the United States. All right, that's where I'm from. That's a, yeah, yeah. I've always heard that. I, I, you know, it's funny they haven't really been down there to play, but uh, yeah, they have unbelievable. Robert Crane Jones. Yeah, golf courses are on them. The Grand yeah. National is their big one. Yeah, there's a lot of tournaments there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Victory Land. You guys know Victory Land? Oh yeah, yeah. I've been there a couple of times. There's no gamble. You're not allowed to gamble in Alabama. There's no lottery, but There's victory. A there. But Victory Land somehow exists it's in a casino. shorter Alabama. The dog track. Been there a couple of times. There's a guy. A couple of stories about this guy named Butch. He just kind of hangs out there, bad teeth, <laughs> mustache, suspenders, and he just he's just hanging around. And when new people come, he helps them pick horses or dogs. Yeah. And then you know when they win, he wants his cut and you know ten percent. But apparently he lives. At a hotel. I, I met this guy one time, and then I thought that that was just a random occurrence. And then another friend was telling me about the same guy. So, wow. And it's a So he makes place. a, yeah, he makes a living off just, he never bets. Yeah. He just goes, look, I'll, I'll tell you. He may bet, but he lives in a hotel apparently right yeah. there, and he just hangs out there all day. <laughs> I, the first time I went, I had Vegas in mind of this, like, you know, like a horse racing, and I thought, this is going to be great, and it is just a sad bunch of people in victory land. Yeah. yeah. It does not feel much like victory in there. Yeah. And, it yeah. Is. <laughs> and then there was a casino and then with slot machines, and then it got mm-hmm. shut down. Mm-hmm. But they had built, it wasn't like they were hiding it. There were billboards on yeah. the highway. Like, I yeah. won big at victory land. I remember that. I did a Comedy yeah. Zone gig in Alabama at a bingo hall, and it did not go well. But I thought they were- <laughs> <laughs> I was with uh, I was with Mutsy, and he flashed uh, a flashlight at everybody uh, in the audience. You guys know Mutsy? No, no. Yeah, I do. It's well, the hard. Yeah, it's tough to perform for an audience younger than you. And <laughs> it's <laughs> I do know Mutsy. I did a show with him. Is it the bald head from yeah. New Orleans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very uh, funny, but he does all crowd work. Yeah, yeah. I did my cruise ship was with Mutsy, and me oh. and he was. Uh, <clears throat> I don't ever talk about that. Like, yeah, the, you told it. Yeah, and he would flash his light. Uh, I just remember I did I did a joke on stage. I mean, it was I bombed, and I said my favorite team's Tennessee Titans, and they go boo, <laughs> and one lady goes roll tide, yeah. and I could not make them understand we're not competitors. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't. They weren't buying it. I'm like, we have Derrick Henry. Yeah, we, we have yeah. a player from boo. Alabama. Roll tide. Yeah, that's so funny, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they were booing the whole professional the sport. Idea. Yeah. The idea of it. Yeah. That's every gig story for Brian, by the way. I feel like they all start that way. I did this show. It did not go yeah. well. Yeah. You get yelled roll tight at more than most people do, <laughs> just for some reason. In Utah. Yeah. In roll Utah. tight. Yeah, did Huntsville get- did not go well for us either. That, oh, that, that show, I was – we were like doing lunch break for people. And then oh. as the lunch break ended, I was up doing comedy and people were like leaving. The whole place was empty. I, I saw was like, a video of, my time. of this show. Yeah, yeah I, I posted it. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was for hotel workers. You think of all people, yeah. they'd be, but we did it on their lunch break. So they're going through line, just getting their through food. Through a buffet. Buffet yeah. while we're doing it. 
And then Dusty thought, I'll get them. Yeah, Brian was up there not doing well. And I thought, well, <laughs> I'll get it. No, and I did not. And they they left. Dusty while refused I was, yeah. to leave. Like, yeah, I mean, I they're, like, va- I- they're vacuuming now, just cleaning the room. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and I'm Dusty's doing my still job. going. And finally, the Bought the CEO said we gotta stop. I mean, we gotta. <laughs> Did they? 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 They stopped it. They yeah, go. Yeah, he was enough. like, you go. Yeah, he yeah. said you could stop. I mean, everybody <laughs> was gone, but I was at that point. I'm like, nah, I'm just like everybody's gone. In fact, how many people are really there? Left? It was only the workers and the guy paying us. Yeah, just people cleaning up at that point. So ten people. Yeah, they were like clinking, clinking Maybe. dishes and stuff like oh, that. Oh, like literally the staff. So anybody that would be watching the show is completely gone. Oh yeah. yes, no, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and but the I was CEO. Like, at that like point, it was it. just a point of pride. How much time me. did you do? I was supposed to do thirty. I probably did twenty-five. Yeah, yeah. man. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the shows that are the worst are the ones you do the most time at. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. some reason, you end up. I'm being, punishing them yeah. at that point. <laughs> yeah. If you're not enjoying it, yeah. I punish you by yeah. going longer. You just keep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that bowling alley show we did? In, oh yeah. Uh, what was it in Michigan? Mus- Muskegon. Muskegon, Michigan, in the back of a bowling alley. There's no mic. The there, mic didn't work. It was like rrr, rrr, rrr. there are no lights in the room, so it was like pitch black darkness. Yeah. And yeah. there was a fake brick wall behind you. Yeah, like a plastic sign that looked like bricks. <laughs> yeah. Held up by Did some I, PCP pipe. I can't remember. I've told my PVC now. Bowling, PCP. bowling alley story. <laughs> Never told my <laughs> opening for Jay. Uh, the I don't think alley. so. So it was in Michigan too. But we performed. It was the bowling alley was had uh like so, when you did the show, they had to build the stage, and so you're performing. Bowling alleys are behind you now; they're all dark, but down they still let bowling happening. So the whole show is you're hearing bowling. Yeah. And so I'm opening for Big J, and then uh, I'm on. They, they just put the stage up, they put the lights up, and all this, and so I'm doing the thing, and the crowd's like sitting there, and uh, you know you're sitting, and the crowd's like w- sitting in like seats, like they had like actually kind of stadium seating because I think they do like bowling competitions there and so they had kind of stadium seating and then tables but the stadium seating was empty no one's there everybody's just kind of down at the tables and i mean it's a lot of room i mean it's, it's basically your a whole bowling alley is kind of shut down for you except at the end and so when i'm up there the spotlight goes out so i'm just in the dark whole set i'm just in the dark and so i'm like you know talking i'm like oh, i'm making jokes about it. the guy comes over brings a ladder climbs up with the ladder fixes the uh, the spotlight, comes back down the ladder, everybody claps, they go, all right, we'll do it again, blah, blah. And then uh, f- within three minutes, the light goes out again. And I'm like, ah, I got to fix it again. There he goes, all right. And he goes to get the ladder that he put back. The ladder's at the other end of the bowling. He put it back. <laughs> all the way back. All the way back. And I mean, it's like a 10 minutes for him to come back with that ladder. And, it's, and there's a ton of room that you want to go, just leave the ladder. <laughs> that guy's confident yeah. in his work. He was yeah. confident because this this light will never go out. And I remember he just left. I was like, why would you not? And it just, <laughs> that ladder hits. And it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like just all, and he's up there having to fix it. Uh, that's my bullet list. <laughs> I love that there's just a couple of lanes open. They're like, yeah, we're doing a show, but we need a little bowling here. We need a little. <laughs> this just is a bowling alley. Just enough to distract the <laughs> show. Yeah. 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 Uh, Alabama Splash, it, Splash Adventure. Previously known as Vision Land. You guys ever been there? Where was that? Auburn. Ooh. This is a water park and amusement park located off I-20, 59 in Bessemer, Alabama. Oh, no, i never been. Oh, this is what Auburn I was talking about while. earlier. Vision yeah. Land. Vision Land. Yeah. Now it's called I Alabama forgot that Victory Land. Land was a... Di- okay. Vision Land is a theme park that I've been to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, a a pool place called Auburn Splash where you go buy pool products. And I remember that guy had a pretty good joke one time. I was in there with my dad and he was like, people call me all the time, go, how much does it cost to get in? He's like, nothing to get in, only when you leave with stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. laughed. It was a good yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's so proud of it. Yeah. 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 Uh, River Chase Galleria in Hoover. I think we've all been there on yeah. a start home run. Uh, 43rd largest mall in the U.S., yeah, I'm How going many? to Hoover. I feel like after after like 30, you can just stop counting those. You know, 43rd. 43rd, is like, yeah. All right. There's like a sign there. He yeah. might be able to do it after 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After What's, top 10 malls is, would be enough that you go, that's enough. If you're like 11, yeah. I mean, if you're 11, you want to. Now, if I'm the 11th mall, I'm going to be like, well, I think we should still do it. I understand it. Yeah. Definitely not past 20. 43rd, 20, you're like, dude, we're big. 25. Is, is that good enough? We're big. Dude. Yeah. 25. Top, top 25. Yeah. Biggest mall, but I mean, really, ten to me is. Yeah, if you get to forty three, you're kind of like, actually, how many malls are there? Yeah, <laughs> <Yes>. yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, 
you guys know what the top tourist attraction is in Alabama? Oh, Ooh. good guess. Dentist? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> that joke that people tour and people travel down because they want to just see how are they letting people out. Like, what about like this? Dolphin Island? I was going to say Gulf, Gulf Shores. Uh, well, tourist attraction, I guess. Oh, me, oh. the ocean. Oh. The Peach and Clanton. No, no, not Clanton. The U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. That's not really. That doesn't feel like a tourist attraction so much. Yeah. Is it? Mm. it is, though. They have I the guess big. So. Yeah. Did you go to space camp as a kid? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My went. parents knew what you I was went? all about. I went to space camp. Yeah. yeah. We did like two nights What's through going our on school. In there? But yeah, what's going on? In my there? dad doesn't. Not a my dad lot. told me a long time ago. He's like, I, I try to get him to watch like Star Trek and stuff. He's like, I don't, I don't like space stuff. He's like, I don't do stuff with space. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah, I, I don't either. It. Now yeah. I don't get it. I don't yeah. like it either. Yeah. I'll do a little Guardians of the Galaxy here, but I don't believe what's happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't take it to heart. Yeah. You know, you're, watch it. You go. Yeah, this you're stuff. in space. You don't I think that it. raccoon's <laughs> really talking? You, yeah. uh, you, uh, yeah. You say <laughs> during Guardians of the Galaxy, you just saying like, you know, this ain't true. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And someone's like, "What's that?" <laughs> <laughs> you're like, and that would sound worse than someone that didn't wa- believe it's true. Yeah. I watched a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know that's not true. You know who's protecting us out there. Right? Yeah, yeah, it ain't it ain't that record. You're like, I don't. Yeah, you believe in this, fam? <laughs> Some famous people from Alabama: Courtney Cox, oh, Channing Tatum. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah, I knew that. Helen Keller. Oh. I knew that. She's on the quarter. She's on the state quarter. You have your own quarter. Every state has a quarter, Nate. You remember that? You don't use the the universal we don't, quarter. Yeah, so we you don't, don't have. I'm not saying we have our own currency. And I'm people saying, take it. How much is it in American money when y'all use your own quarter that you that y'all have that you walk in and try to pass? Is, is it like Canadian change at a laundromat that yeah. they go? Well, I know what this is. You just get a Helen Kellen quarter every now and then. You're like, oh, I'll throw it's that a little out bigger. Yeah. It doesn't matter. We'll try to test you on this one, Nate. The most successful band in country music is from the state of Alabama. Leonard Skinner. Country band. Uh, Alabama. I mean, Al- uh, most su- uh, Alabama is from. Uh, are they Alabama? Of all time or right yeah. now? Of all time. It's, all a, right. it's Alabama? Yeah, it's Alabama. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're the best. They're the best. Yeah. Dusty did a show I'll with Alabama. I'll be honest Aaron Land, I think, just copies what we say, and you say it right after. <laughs> what are you doing? That's what the bull in the ring was, You and then you just say, you read the bull in the ring again. Yeah. And when I said describe bull in the ring, then you describe bull in the ring, yeah. and I just guessed Alabama, and you were guessing again. <laughs> you, go, uh, you go, is it country? You asked, after I said Alabama, you yeah. go, is it country? Alabama, like, He's well, just Aaron Lane is You're acting like you answer the question very confidently. <laughs> it didn't. It was a lot of confidence. It was a lot of go back and forth. I feel that like I, <laughs> yeah. I try to speed it up. Yeah, I think Aaron Lane is trying. I think yeah, Aaron Lane. Dusty did a show with Alabama. Where at? Uh Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. With the band though, huh? Yeah, with the with two of the members. One of the guys is not doing well, but uh, uh but yeah, two Teddy of them. Jeffrey? Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. But it was great. That's I mean, cool, I went out in the audience to watch, and then a lady was like, "Hey, you ever you you, you know how to milk cows?" And I was like, "No." And she's like, she was shocked. She was like, "Do you want to?" And then she was like, trying to get me to come over to her house and milk. She was like, "My husband's getting real drunk tonight. I need help milking the cows." I was like, "I'm not sure what you're talking about." Either. I don't think I, 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 yeah, there's no cows there. There's no cows there. Yeah, I don't think yeah. Uh, the world's largest office chair is. I it? think she doesn't think too highly of herself. <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> You're looking up the world's largest office chair. Yeah. In Anniston, Alabama. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know this chair? No, but I know Anniston. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's I mean... Dusty's car. That's his garage. <laughs> yeah. They use. They would park under it for the tornado. They go, get under the chair, everybody. <laughs> 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 Just, and then, and then uh yeah i like that the ad is another chair though right there they're like you looking for a chair yeah. <laughs> are you looking for a big chair did uh paul bunyan the only person who ever said that <laughs> what makes with. that an office chair that looks like a that looks like patio like furniture. a waiting room chair yeah. Uh, yeah yeah uh that's what office chairs look like back in my day yeah <laughs> no wheels <laughs> well if they had wheels they would never be able to get it back you know, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> just that's kill true. somebody. Just it would the, be at a trailer park. Yeah, it yeah, would yeah, be yeah, over yeah, a trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They drag it over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, here, here's a stat for you, Nate. 43 percent of all snails in the U.S. live in Alabama. Wow, <laughs> really? 
Yeah. It does move a little slower down there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of snails down there. Uh, we've talked about this. Unclean, Too many. Because of the ocean? I feel like I don't probably. remember. What, it, I feel like that you makes it sound like me. you'd run into them all the time. I don't, probably I don't remember there being a snail problem. I used to see a lot of slugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Are we counting slugs, you think, maybe? I thought they were the same. Yeah. Yeah. Slug just kind of feels like a snail without a shell. Yeah, yeah. he just hadn't found one yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll no. get there. It'll take He'll a while. There. It'll take a while. <laughs> yeah, we used to, because you could put salt on slugs yeah, and kill them. And I used to go out there all the time and put all these salt on them. Yeah. And kill them all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know why I was doing yeah. it. You know, I was a kid. So you got yeah. in the weed yeah. business. Yeah. The weed yeah. killing business. Yeah. yeah. They recruited me. Yeah. They, they we heard. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. yeah. guy's the best. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to kill things. You're like, well, not, not live, not the same as animals. Right. You ever been to the Unclaimed Baggage Center in Scottsboro? No, I have heard about it, though. I've heard about it. We've yeah. talked about it on here before. Yeah. They had all kinds of, like, they had a rattlesnake, we learned, mm-hmm. and all kinds of stuff they yeah. found there. Yeah. Uh, Arab, Alabama was originally Arad, Alabama. It was supposed to be named after the founder's son, but they misspelled it. Wow. And, On the water tower, right? Well, that's according to Henry Cho's joke. I oh. couldn't find that. Okay. Uh, this just, just says they misspelled it at the U.S. Postal Service, so they just kept it Arab. A rab, like when Alabama. they filed the paperwork to incorporate the town, they yeah. just spelled it wrong. That's yeah. another like the my so Vietnamese, <laughs> like the uh, Arab Alabama, where they go, "Where are you from?" I go from Arab Alabama. You're like, "Okay, man, yeah, that's, yeah. This is, yeah. that's okay, enough. Yeah. All right, <laughs> that's that's rude." To, and you're just like, "What? That's yeah. what it is." <laughs> like you, did, you know, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. But what about the people in the town that knew it as Arab? And they were like, well. Yeah, I don't know when that like, was. I they're mean, like, I'm from Arad. Yeah. And they're like, well, that doesn't yeah. exist. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I kind of took it. It was just a group of people kind of started living here. and was like, we should call this a town. And then the guy's like, well, my son's named Arad. And they were like, cool. Let's sure. go call it Arad. <laughs> Arad town. And then they changed it. A rad town. A rad town. Ah. A rad town. Yeah. And now it's not. Now it's a rab town. Yeah. Um, this is a callback from last week. Jesse James, you guys yeah. remember Jesse James? Uh-huh. Yeah. Last week we did Outlaws, and I had all these cool facts. Oh, Jesse, like, not not the like the tattoo artist. No, no, no. no. Okay. I was like, you guys know Doc Holliday was really a dentist, and they're like, who's Doc Holliday? Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. I, wow. I knew Doc. Not okay. we. I, I knew Doc Holliday. All right, well, all right. Don't throw me in. He never heard of. Him. You didn't know Doc Holliday. You never heard the name. Wow. Uh, you don't. You don't know the. Uh, I'm your Huckleberry. That whole thing? No, we went over. Well, yeah, we didn't watch the movie. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't watch the movie either, but I've heard his name. He's never heard of even Doc Holliday. Wow. Mm. I'll be your Huckleberry. That's what they always yeah. said. Mm. Huckleberry Finn. I don't know well, why we thought that was so cool that he would say that, but I, I, but I did it. It but. does sound cool. I don't know what it means, but it sounds cool. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, Jesse James was hiding out in Nashville, which I think we mentioned last yeah. week. He went down to Alabama, killing Alabama near Florence, and did his last robbery at the Blue Water Camp because they knew the guy who was collecting the paychecks was going to be there, or the money. He robbed him for $5,200, and then he came back to Nashville to hide out. But one of his crew stopped at a saloon on White's Creek Pike, mm. which we know White's Creek Pike. It's not the best saloons there, and got into a fight <laughs> and got arrested. And then he had all this money on him. And so mm. then they're like, Jesse James gang probably won. And Jesse James had to leave Nashville because of it. He had wow. to go it was his last robbery, though. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What year was that? Uh, let's just say 1874. Okay. You know, Opelika is a, a railroad town, and mm-hmm. they said that it was so bad back in the day that when the train would come through, they would they would instruct people to duck down in the plane because people in downtown Opelika would shoot at the train. Wow. Like old kind of Wild West days. Yeah, like they just didn't like the train. Yeah, or they were just drunk and they had nothing yeah. going on. Yeah. <laughs> and that seems, you know, that seems like that's still going on yeah. in a lot of ways. Yeah. Do you have the fifty two hundred? How much that is? Yeah, the what the relative income worth? Like, what is that worth now? Yeah, you got, you want to guess? Uh, fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, ninety one thousand. Yeah, dollars. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you know when a <laughs> like in a like a truck goes like you know like a truck gets loose on an interstate and they have to go up that ramp that slows them down. Uh huh. That's where I feel like we're at with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we are basically almost stopped. I'll be honest with you. It feels we were a truck rolling, and we're not hitting the ramp. We're almost 
it, the truck driver's already taking a sigh of relief. Yeah. <laughs> that's how much this... Well, that's how I feel about yeah. every podcast I do. Yeah. I, I do my own, and every time I'm like, what have I been talking about? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're at two hours. I'll wrap this up. Uh, Alabama has three comedy club, regular comedy clubs. Stardome. Carlos yep. Mencia is there this weekend. Stand Up Live in Huntsville. Nate, Bar- in. Nate Bargatze's there this weekend. Yes. Yep. <laughs> yep. He just found out. I am there this weekend. And Crown Comedy Club in Auburn, which Dusty Slay's at this weekend. Boom. Nice. Wow. All right. We're crushing Alabama right now. Yeah. Man. And I'm at Hoover. I'm at Hoover. I'm at Hoover the next weekend. At Stardom? Yep. Nice. And we did, uh, I don't know if we had to, that I did a ranking of the Nashville, top Nashville comedians because we've had a lot of people <laughs> move here. Yeah. Yeah. And I did it by age. So this is your own. This is uh, well, your no, ranking. I, I, well, I think it's pretty. A, so I, rankings in how's it ranked by age? By, by dec- age. By Stall decades. for a second because I got to pull it back. Up. Uh, well, I wish I'd have brought it up now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm no, anxious we have to hear. Time. It. I think people are allowed to take a break. All right. Uh, well, then I'll say today no, is. No, I think I'm saying people are like this whole podcast has been a break. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think uh, they're having a great time. No, I'm joking. They're they're having fun. I will mention then that today we're doing this on Sundays, National Pie Day. Oh, oh how three, about that? 3.14, wow. et cetera, et cetera. Oh. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. 3.14. Tomorrow is the Ides of March. Yeah. Which is when Julius Caesar was murdered. Wow. And the day this podcast comes out, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. which is when uh, St. Nick brought toys to all the good kids in <laughs> Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. That's this funny. is a Remember lot of when he got that mixed up? Yeah. 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 That's a good time. All right. I probably should have stalled on that. No, that was a terrific stall because now uh, look at this. You got it. Now, yeah, yeah. I'm just uh, a couple clicks away. All right, so this is this is pretty authentic, I think. Top comedians by age, Dusty. All right, it's up on the screen there too. Okay, okay, okay. yeah. Jeff Allen, we all know him. He's yeah, been a veteran comic for some time. All right, is it? And you go say the ages because people are watching. People, yeah, listening. yeah, yeah. So if, in the sixties, Jeff Allen. If your age is in your sixties, okay, which uh, we assume he's in his sixties, we don't know. I think that's. that's <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think that's accurate. I think could be good, insulting yes. either way. Fifties, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kathleen Madigan. Yep. Okay. Yep. We don't see Kathleen much, but she's been in Nashville by about five years, I guess. Yeah. 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 This is a minimum. You got to live here a minimum of two years. Yeah. So these all these newcomers okay. don't okay. count. Yeah. Okay. Forties, Brian Bates, right. obviously. <laughs> obviously, given he's great. Obviously, barely hanging in there. <laughs> not even, not, I mean, I mean, but then I'll moments bump, away. I'll bump Kathleen. Yeah, yeah. it just rolls on up. I wanted Henry Cho in the fifties, but Aaron said we needed some diversity. I'm like, Henry's Asian. <laughs> yeah. What else he needs? Not, he's from Arab. <laughs> no, I was not involved in this at all. Just let <laughs> yeah. that be known. Thirties, Dusty Slay. All right, yeah. okay, I'll yeah. agree with that. Yeah, twenties, yeah. yeah. Aaron Weber. Okay, I'll take. Yeah. I'll be gone pretty soon. Yep. So, well, uh, then you and Dusty can find it. And then the tens, <laughs> Nate's nephew, Caleb. How old is Caleb? Uh, what is he? Thir- 12, 13, 13 so he, now. He they, may hold this yeah. for a while. And yeah, he's done he's Zanies yeah. once, twice. He's in Zany- Zany's twice, my nephew Caleb. Very funny. Him and uh, they wrote jokes, and uh, he's uh, did very good. The first set he he went up and did. He he my I was doing the headline Zanies. My dad was opening, and then he brought Caleb up, and Caleb went up and destroyed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, destroyed and uh, did very good. Then brought me up, and he's just so confident. And <laughs> then the next, like my brother teaches at the, he goes to school. My brother's at, and uh, they teach us. My brother's like, well, we're doing a, you know, a, what is it, a talent show? Yeah, like at school. And he's like, so you should do your your stand up. And Caleb goes, I don't know, you know. He, I mean, he's like. They're just not going to get my stuff. Like he already <laughs> was turning. He's done one gig, and he's already going like, "Come on, I'm not. I perform a comedy club." He right? threw me that gig. It's yeah, like, I, I got this gig. I don't want it, but you're that was very Zanies paid him. They gave me. We wrote yeah. him a check. All right, from Zanies, and uh, he got paid. And I mean, really worked hard at it. Him, and my sister really helped, and they did really good. I think it's a good move not to do stand up at the school, though. I wouldn't solid, want, yeah, I wouldn't want to do stand up at my own I know. school. Well, that's what he's that's what he said. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'm not gonna, you know, he's above it. I mean, college I did a comedy at a college way back before I was ready for it. And I had a joke where I go, uh, I had this girl come over to my apartment the other night, and this guy goes, No, you didn't. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Uh all right. So that's it. Uh, was that it? Yeah, I think that's We're, it. There cool. was it. Uh, we did it. All right, everybody. Uh, this week, 
Oh, we could do pound. Oh, All right. God. What are you doing? Just like, <laughs> here, here, here. This is like your awkward coming out. Are you going through puberty <laughs> on the podcast? You just started just pounding Dusty on camera? Oh, man. Is that crazy to do? Just, hey, the Maybe. episode's <laughs> ending. Thanks for coming by. We're friends. You know? Yeah, you it's say not it like, afterwards as you walk out. Thing to do. I think it's, you know. Yeah, you, afterwards you say it. How are you going to sign off? Cause I was going to just say goodbye like normal. I'm not going <laughs> to get up and pound everybody. Well, I figured while you were doing that, the camera would be on you. I figured I could. That was a genuine moment. That wasn't yeah. for the camera. And Aaron Land camera would, would catch <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. So it Aaron everybody. Land would have had it. That's yeah. right. That's how uh, we end every show on Aaron Land. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Boom. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's never. He doesn't know that move. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't. He, he gets a pound. We do a handshake back. Uh, uh, so yeah, this week, folks, uh, the greatest average American Netflix. Please watch it. Please tell everybody that you can. Uh, as always, Dusty Slay. Check him out. All his dates that he's got coming up. His website. Very very funny. He's got a good, very funny podcast. Very funny podcast. Yeah. What's your podcast? Oh, the called? We're having a good time podcast. We're having a good time mm, yeah. podcast. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Yeah, you have dates, more dates, or uh, uh, I'll be at the Grand Old Opry pretty yeah. soon. All right, yeah, Grand Old Opry. That's yeah, good. Yeah, uh, you know, you'd be. Are you going to mention uh, the podcast we're doing? Yeah. So uh, yes, I should have probably opened with this. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about it more. Uh, uh, we're, we're mentioning more next week, but we are doing a live Nate Land podcast at Zanies. When is it? April 15th. April 15th. Thursday night. Thursday night. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, so go get your tickets. Uh, yeah, if you made it, that this is a little, you know, you're getting the first shot if yeah. you had it. We're, this, is for the, <laughs> this is the deep cuts for the real fans that made it to yeah, the Yeah, we've end. already fist bumped. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they go. A bunch of people turned off right when you, That's how they know it's over. Yeah. They go. They, once Aaron, Aaron gives the signal, yeah. he gives a fist bump. To uh, I'm gonna ask all the other guests if they ever if you fist bump anybody else. That's not what are you, it's not an insane thing to do, man. I mean, he didn't respond to it. That's why he was surprised. By he it. was looking at you. He was being a good guest. I don't I think it's insane to do it. I think you do it after the show. But you understand, I wasn't doing it for the camera. It was just kind of a personal. I just happened to catch it. In the, <laughs> yeah. the way I caught it was like nailed it. Bro. I mean, it wasn't my best <laughs> yeah. ever knucks. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> April fifteenth. If you want to experience this live <laughs> at Zanies, uh, I don't know what exactly we're going to be doing for. The, I think we have some ideas though. I think we're going to take some live comments. So oh, that's cool. it, it, it will probably be a comment heavy show. Uh, and I honestly, I think we're going to do some stand up too. So, uh, if you cool. want to come check it out, each of us do like, you know, just a few minutes, nothing crazy, but just a little, some sets and then do a uh, record a little podcast and, uh, we'll make sure to put the podcast out so you guys can hear it that are, are not in Nashville, but, uh, April 15th, Zanies, go check it out. Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right. Do you want to mention that you're giving up soda? Oh, <laughs> So, God, this is a lot. This of, is a I real deep cut. Yeah. yeah, no, this is deep. Wow. Yeah, this is a long one. Yeah, so that, that Nux was premature. Yeah, man. I'm yeah. sorry, that was early. premature. Premature. <laughs> How do you say mature? Mature. Well, yeah. you just mature? Missed, you yeah. let him. Yeah. You let him. Mature. Yeah, mature. Yeah, mature. I don't think Everybody we need. Does. I don't think we needed to leave. I don't say mature. Yeah. Premature. Yeah. Well, Brian does. Yeah. You say premature. Well, I used yeah. to. I don't anymore. There's a lot of things I don't do anymore. Used to be a doctor in a barn, and that's. That's how they said it. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a very funny job to have. Like, Dr. Just, uh, this is for the Patreon people at home. No, we don't have Patreon, but this is the... the so, uh, yeah. So I did... I'm mean, I glad I told you because I wouldn't have said it. God, I would have got away with it. Uh, but uh, I, I want to quit drinking Cokes, soda. Yeah. Which you, Would you always say Coke? Growing up, oh yeah, yeah Coke. You just have everything's Coke, a Coke, yeah, and then you go from there. Yeah, I'd be like, "You want a Coke?" And you go, "Yeah," and you're like, "All right, we what have Sprite, kind? yeah, oh, yeah. pepper, yeah. yellow, like yeah. that's what, yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah." So uh, that's how I did it. But I want to—I need to be drunk drinking. Uh, I want to lose weight. And I think soda is a big problem for me. I drink a lot of it. Uh, I think I drink. I'll have at least if I'm not going out to eat, I'll have two, probably two to three. At least two. Diet, diet, diet Pepsi's? Diet, diet Pepsi's. The, a little bottle, though. Yeah. A 10-ounce, 12-ounce bottle, something like that. At least two, three. If I go to a restaurant, 
Like I, you know, I, I mean, I'm gonna have four because they're gonna mm-hmm. just they go keep more and out, they keep bringing yeah. them out, and I kind of forget that in my head that counts as one, but I'm having four. <laughs> but there's and ice in there though. So there's ice in yeah, there, so it's a less. Yeah, uh, that's how they get you. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, and they so uh, so I was like, you know what, I need, I want to quit drinking uh, cokes and soda products. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna say it on the podcast, and yeah. uh, I'm gonna stop the day my special comes out, so I won't have any soda that day. Uh, and or start that just day. start that day. <laughs> yeah, just, that day. That's... just one day, March 18th. <laughs> you can do it, buddy. That's a very greatest average American thing to do. One day. How many so- cokes have you had today? Uh, oh, I've had uh, I've had one. I had McDonald's today. Laura's Ooh. gone, so yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and they uh, so I've had one, and I'll have one more when I eat. I might have two to three more. It depends on how much I eat. Uh, but that or one to two more will be the most. But I do it every day. Yeah. And I think diet, I think even even though it's diet, I drink diet Pepsi. Diet's the worst. I think diet, I think it leads me to other bad my it makes me want other bad stuff. Like you won't go eat McDonald's if you if you're not can't have Diet Coke. I won't. I just can't mm-hmm. imagine eating a Big Mac and drinking with water. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'd want popcorn. No, you don't want I, just, none of this stuff. Pizza's a little like you want Coke with pizza, like all these kind of things that I eat that are bad. All I always want a diet drink to dr- do it with. Yeah. And so I, I, to me, I'm just trying to pick. Like I need to lose some weight. I need like I'm working out. I just like can nothing. The top part of something's not going down. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know what? I think if I just targeted, it's not good for you anyway to drink all that. If I targeted cokes, and I was like, let's just start there, and then we can see maybe that's a problem. So. March 18th, I'm starting to the day that my special comes well, out. I will not drink soda. You know, they say now, who knows, right? I'm no, yeah. I'm no barn doctor, but <laughs> the, they say diet, diet Coke keeps you from losing weight. Yeah. 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 There's something in there that's, doesn't, yeah. that's not let you lose weight. Yeah. I don't know if that's true. Sugar. But it, no, yeah, it's like aspartame. Well, there's some weird well, yeah, stuff. Yeah, but in they there. started getting rid of aspartame, but it's, it, it gives you the taste, the cravings to want other things. Yeah. That are, are sugar. Mm. And uh, so I, I don't know if it's the problem, but I just, that's the one consistent thing that I was like, if I can just drink water, I could tend to eat healthier things because, you know, salad is okay with water. Yeah. And like, or I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. I might be completely wrong with it. No, I get it. Tough to have that a salad and a me. coke. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't seem right. I yeah. do it. Yeah. But <laughs> it's, uh, I mean, I still do it. Yeah. And I, I could drink a soda. I would drink Diet Coke if I was working out as my liquid. <laughs> I would be fine with that. I, I, I'm a big fan. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I, I feel all my specials. So I was just saying, y'all didn't, I, I didn't even really say anything to y'all because I, I don't want to throw it on you that you're like, you got to quit something too. But uh, you just quit. You've already quit some stuff, right? You don't want to tell? Yeah. Uh, yeah I, that, don't say it if you, because I mean, everybody knows. Okay, and so we'll, like, talk, we'll a, talk about it off camera. Yeah, right. yeah. So when you, I'm feel afraid ready, to do anything during the show now. So I want to wait till after, and then we'll. Talk. Yeah, well, the crew's yeah, already fist leaving. bump. The crew's already. <laughs> Tristan's yeah, already put his is, chair away. He's yeah. like, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying you don't want it because you don't no, want the right. audience. You're to right. Know. You're right. And if they, if, if anybody else wants to quit something, then you just let us know, and we're uh, we can keep you. Uh, let's see how many we got. We might keep you accountable. Yeah. We might call you out and be like, "How you doing?" Yeah, and saying we're you, and you have to answer us. That'd be pretty good. I like that. I'll answer you if you if, if someone even sees me out and they they can look and see me, they can make sure I'm drinking. I, I'll drink tea. Unsweet tea could be count, not sweet tea. It's got to be unsweet okay. or water. I just think no Coke products or okay. sweet. Okay, you need those kind of drinks. Uh, probably juices are fine. Uh, right, coffee fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, but no diet cokes for me. No, so no. See, no, kind of yep, thing, you know? yep. none of that. So <laughs> if you have something that you want to quit and you can just tell us whenever, like, hey, I want to quit this, we'll keep a running tab. Uh, you want, Should they email probably best? Email. Sure. Email's probably the best. <laughs> 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 it's better it? than my nose whistle comment. So yeah, yeah please send us that. <laughs> Nate Land at NateBargetzi.com. If you want to quit something, uh, that's pretty fun. We're, we're going to hold the people up, people yeah. accountable. I, everybody wants to quit something. Fun. Everybody yeah. wants to. Yeah. So quit. And then we, if we... And we we won't be to call everybody out every time, but when we call your name to check on you, you have to respond. Yeah, you have to you have to be honest. Mm -hmm. I'll be completely honest if I fall apart and have a diet coke. Yeah, I'll tell you the truth. 
And so you do it too. Uh, that's why I put all this at the end so no one gets to it. <laughs> what are you quitting? Uh, well, no, nose whistling first off. <laughs> and, and, and don't worry, he did that. That was the first step. So let's just get past yeah, that yeah, yeah. and then we'll go from there. Uh, all right. Thank you guys. Yeah. As always, we love you guys. All right. Fist bumps around, baby. <laughs> high fives. <laughs> high fives. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God. All right. Next week. See you.